Hey guys, and welcome back to In The Zone. This is episode 14. I am with Gustavo. Say hello. Oh, hello. Cam. Hello. Myself, obviously. Jacob. Hello. Matthew. What's up? Daniel. Hi. And Adonijah. What's up? And so, uh, we got another whole episode of The Boys. Basically, everyone back. Adonijah added in. You know, Cam, welcome back, buddy. Thank welcome you. Back. Glad to be here. All right, so, who wants, do you want to, you want to start, Cam? I don't have Damon? anything for you. Adonijah, do you yeah. want to start with the story? Story? You, Alfonso Davey? You know, like, uh, people, people always wonder, you know, like, why can't I get to where that point is? You know what I mean? Like, people are always wondering, like, how did they get so far ahead of us? And it, it's really, for me at least, it comes down to the fact that they worked harder for it. You know, every, like, everyone might not have the same equal, like, outcome, but everyone can have the same equal opportunity. And so I think one of the most inspirational things that I have seen, personally, is Alfonso Davies. Now, if you guys don't know who Alfonso Davies is in, I'll give you a brief backstory. Basically, Alfonso Davies is a fullback uh, for Bayern Munich. He's a soccer player. Uh, so what ended up happening with Alfonso is he lived in a refugee camp, and this will go into oh, that. Yeah, in yeah, story. Yeah. Well, we'll get into that. But like, he, w- he lived as a refugee camp. He had to go through war. He moved so many different countries. And then at the age of 12, he started late. He decided to start playing soccer. And so when he started, decided to start playing soccer, he was the worst player. He always told these stories. He's like, I was always the worst player. But every game, I would get played because I worked at it, you know? And so I think that, like, he, he's slowly grown to the man that he is right now. And it's like, it, it's, incre- it's in- honestly incredible to, like, see that some people can, like, grow from basically nothing to everything to be like the best in their piece, uh things. So Cam, do you have another story or something? Yeah, this like uh, this heavyweight fighter in the UFC, Francis Ngannou, who comes from Kenya, uh, he, he tried to get out of Kenya, or not Kenya, Cameroon. He tried to get out of Cameroon many times and would uh, get on these, these tanker ships, like the one that's in the, in the Suez Canal. <laughs> I wanted to talk about that too, but anyway. I mean, we can eventually. Yes. Anyway, he uh, he got to Paris eventually after multiple tries. They'd, they'd send him back every time he landed there. And then uh, finally he made it and didn't get sent back. And he was a, a homeless man living in Paris, and which is not a great place to be homeless because everything is expensive. And uh, he started going to the gym and, and learning to fight. Because that's, I mean, it's like an instinct. It's a human instinct. So... He started to get good, and now he's a world heavyweight champion, and he just fought for a title and won, and he's fucking scary looking. So then let me ask you this question, and this goes to everyone. What are some specific qualities that you can see in a person that can tell you that they're going to be successful, or there's a, a general quality that, of people that have become successful? Well, Is it, I mean, it, yeah. in this case, he just, there, there was no other option. I mean, he just... Yeah, in this case, it was basic survival. Yeah, exactly, it's survival. I mean, Do you think that's always going to work, though, for people? No, no definitely this not. Is his specific circumstance. Yeah, not, not everyone's going to be in a situation that he was in. He was in a situation to where he was either going to do what he did, which was become a star, or die because he's not living in a home. Yeah. So, like, I don't really think you can sort of characterize what can make a person successful because everyone goes through different situations. So then what would you, like, you say you can't characterize, why can't, like, I know people go through different situations, but, like, Everyone can have the same chance from every situation to have a good outcome. You know what I mean? Like you can have the same chance to have an A on the test as you can have an F. It just depends on your effort. You can have the same amount of time. I mean, obviously, with certain situations, they're athletically gifted. There's some, like some things you just can't. You can't teach some things. You know, you can't teach someone to be six foot seven and have like a forty-five inch vertical. You know what I mean? Like so that's just something that you can't teach. But you can also teach like mental fortitude and uh, heart, and like you can teach all these other things. To grow up to the person that you come. I think that you can characterize some people in certain senses because, you know, not like, again, not everyone is going to have the same, like, situation, mm-hmm. but they can always have, like, the same good outcome. It, it, I'm not making sense. Well, I mean, I can understand what you're coming from. Uh, if we use the sense of, like, the example of, like, Kobe Bryant, you know, him being, of course, 6'6 uh, six, six is obviously uh, gifted right there, but, like, as he said of himself, you know, he wasn't exactly the most athletic or the fastest or the strongest, but, you know, he can work around the boundaries of what he can do and, and you know, be able to achieve himself through a skillful way. 
So it's just hard work. Do you think that there's al there's always a limit? Or do you think that everyone has an unlimited potential? It depends on what you're talking about. I mean, nobody can run a three second, 40 yard dash. So there's a limit there. But I mean, there's not necessarily a limit to what you can do in, a, in your given field. I mean, you can always set new records or, or I would say surpass you, the boundaries. I would say you can only go far as your body takes you. Like, are you talking physical? Or are you talking like mental? Oh, like, because so. there's some people. Because I mean, I, I don't like saying the situation is different, but like, I have a different yeah. mental capacity to Daniel, or a different mental capacity to Matthew, and so on. So, like in the mental sense, you can only go as far as your body can take you. But then physically, obviously, you can you can only go you can only go as far. Like you can have you can have all the muscles in the world, but if you don't have stamina, then um, then, then all, all all that's for nothing. But you're created in a way. You're created. Everyone's created in a different way. Uh, how 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 it is, like that. That's that's debatable. But you you can only go as far as how you're as how you're created it, as as how you're uh, is how you're built. But so, you you could you could improve that though. So are you are you talking as in mental capacity in terms of like intelligence quotient? I, I would Or just like how. Because every like a lot everyone can be infinitely smarter if, if oh, you yeah. choose to learn. Yeah, exactly. Because you can all like your brain can like literally if you choose to work on your brain and your smarts intelligence, it can get infinitely smarter. You know? Yeah, like the sure. more you learn, the more you grow, the more you grow, like it just it's a cycle that keeps repeating if you put in the work. Um, not saying, you know, it's gonna come as easy as other people because I feel like People's mental capacity is how much they can hold, how much information they can store, is what I mean by yeah. that. But I think intelligence is being able to understand and comprehend everything that you've learned and be able to apply it into real world, real world situations. Um, but I just think that everyone, everybody can be infinitely smarter if they really try for it. So if you guys were to add one quality, so like one ability or one thing that you, you feel that you can work on, what would be the thing, like if you're like analyzing yourself, and you're looking at yourself, what is one thing that you can say that you could improve on? Is there anything that you, okay, there's something that everyone here can improve on. Let's, let's be quite frank here. No one here is perfect. Like, uh, Jacob, don't you dare. No, no, you ain't perfect, bro. Chill out, <laughs> man. Chill out with that. I think, was, hair is pretty I think perfect. We, yeah. we may not be perfect, but that's what makes us perfect. That's that's not perfect. We're, yeah, yeah, we're perfectly exactly imperfect. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I think that's, that's something that's missing in today's society is that understanding that like, like we're all different. Like, look around. Like, no, I, I we're think all different. Different. Like, I think we're all different. perfectly imperfect. Look, look, y'all are all different, but I'm built different. Right? <laughs> like, I feel like everyone knows, everyone knows, yeah, we're all diverse. We have to be diverse, this and that. But, like, sometimes you got to, like, recognize that, like, we, we were, like, given these things. And, like, we, have, we should, like, appreciate them. And, like, I guess, like, not, this all kind of, like, relates to, like, being hungry, I guess. Like, people always wanting more, always wanting more, wanting more power, more wealth, more, like, you know, more better looks. But, like, why not be happy with what you have? Well, yeah, but at the same time, it's like you can appreciate what others have and try to get better. Like I can look, yeah, yeah. yeah so like I can look at Matthew and be like, okay, his pecs like fly out of his shirt. I want to be like that. Yeah, yeah. And then so like you, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. so like so like you, you can, uh, yeah, yeah. I get like you can appreciate what you what, what you have, and I, uh, I I love that idea. But at the same time, like you can look at others and be like, okay, I want to have I, I want to have what you have, but you can just, you have to do it in a healthy way. And not and, and yeah, not that's a thing exactly. though. Exactly, yeah. that's the thing though. People aren't doing it the healthy way. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it's getting more. And it's getting so there are kids. And let me ask: Is jealousy a good or a bad thing? Well, look, 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 look. Here, here's the way I say: I, the, the way you harness that jealousy can either be good or bad. Because I would, because you label if you label it as jealousy in the first place, it's already already gonna have a negative connotation, right? But instead, if you if you turn if you change jealousy to admiration. And maybe, maybe looking at something and, and seeing it as I want to be that, or I want to be that, but better in my own way. It's being able to to turn it around, and, and instead of being like, you know, damn, why is Matthew's chest so big? I wish it would, you know, take it down a notch. Like, it's not really cool. <laughs> instead, you can be like, you know what, bro? I'm gonna I'm work to be at Matthew's chest size, and maybe better if I put in the work. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. having a positive yeah. outlook on it, and it's just it's like it's literally just being like not toxic and choosing to better yourself for the sake of bettering yourself. So wait, so then where, for you, Daniel, where is the line for you on toxic? 
Because you, um, you mentioned, that, like, you say that, like, like well, it's, the words toxic are very unclear to certain people. You know what I mean? Like, I think toxic is just, uh, it, it's being manipulative towards someone else's feelings for your own gain, I think is my definition of toxic. Or that's doing something um, shady and making it seem like it's fine or sort of like maybe gaslighting or, or manipulative or um, untruthful in any way. I think that's what I, that's what I consider toxic. I would say I would say toxic is when you try to do things to for others rather than for yourself. How is that toxic? I mean, that, no, that, no that, way. that could be, that is a trait of toxicity. Yeah, no, because do like- Do things for like, others instead of yourself? yourself? So like basically, like, yeah, like basically- so Oh, 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 I, don't, I, mean, so I thought but I said- at the same time though, at the same time, I mean, sometimes you gotta recognize the other like, so yeah, I'll, well, yeah, yeah, I have that, a saying. That can be toxic as well, putting others first. I have a saying. Yeah. Always remember who number one is, right? And so that can go in any way, shape, or form or however you take it. I personally take it as the scumbag that I am. I take it as I'm always going to be the person that I should keep in mind, number one. You know, like a lot of people always say, oh, you mean God or oh, you mean whatever. Whatever crap that is. It's however you interpret it. But in the way I interpret it. I've always interpreted that I should be the most important one. I'm the man of my life. Well, yeah. I'm not living in the third person. I'm not living it through everyone else. I'm living it through my own. So my own decisions, good and bad, I have to live with because it's me. You know, it's just me at the end of the day. You know, I I, I don't know. Should I? I'll talk a little bit over there. But like my message was just be you. And so I, I, I personally am fed up with people not being happy with who they are. You know, every like we, we touched this before. Everyone is perfect in their own perfect way. You guys are all loved in your own certain way. You guys are all special in your own certain way. You guys are all different in your own certain way. And it's like people who are subconscious about that, they kind of need to be. We don't need to force them to be that. You know what I mean? Like we don't need to force someone to say, you know what, you're fat, get skinny. You know, like we, we don't need to say, Nick, you have tiny arms. Look at Daniel and Matthew's arms, get better. You know, we, we don't need to say that, Nick, you're stupid, get smarter, like Cam. Or Adonijah. We, we don't need to say stuff like that. We just need to be ourselves. You know, like my mom is, this is one of the things that I've taken from her the most is stop focusing on other people and focus on yourself. And I think that growing as a person, you have to focus on yourself. I think you have to put yourself, you know, above other people at certain times. Now it's, it's good to have a little bit of sympathy for everyone and understand every side. But like, you have to remember that you are the person of your life. Whatever happens is basically down to you almost all the time but i wanted to talk about that like uh i i feel like we're in this kind of culture where like we feel like it's okay to live in mediocrity to like live in for the average and go upon what we think is okay but i i don't think we're reaching upon what our best values are you know i'm not saying like you have to be in the best possible shape or form or however you do just be the best in whatever you're pursuing and for i feel like people are, are in this kind of limit upon themselves wherever like it's okay to take a nap it's okay to take a rest day it's okay to do these things to rest take upon what you're <laughs> I, I know but i i feel like we aren't giving ourselves our true pathway towards success if we're just gonna limit ourselves with these resting pages and but like to, to, i'm sorry to cut you off no, like yeah. that you know yeah yeah I'll, I'll, but like, there's such a limit. There's such a thing as being too. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> You're like, yeah. shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up, man. You <laughs> know. No, but like, I feel like. There's... But like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like there's like a limit to like how far you need to push. Like, there's a li you have to take rest. Like, you can't keep pushing yourself to the absolute brink day and day and day and day. This isn't like a comic strip or like an anime where they 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 fight like the strongest guys every time. You know, like this isn't Dragon Ball where you like you beat up the crap out of the strongest guys. You nearly die and then you get back stronger like this this is we're real like we're human being we have flesh and skin like i get what like doug i get what you like you should strive for the best you can be but there's a point where you need to like understand that you're not going to be the best in everything unless you're already there you know what i mean you can always work to be better but like it's really hard sometimes to get to be the best i i definitely see what you mean but like i i just don't think we're in that kind of way where like we're hard enough like not saying like oh you're not hard man like i i feel like we're we shell we shell ourselves like we we sometimes like come into our own insecurities and things like that and let our thoughts get into ourselves and i feel like we're kind of losing that like old primitive feeling of where we have to make ourselves you know men essentially like just because it's a boy's part i mean women as well but like you know just for this 
Yeah, okay, so then let me ask, what is your guys' definition of a man? Not a perfect man, not an imperfect man, just a man. What is your guys' definition? I'm gonna start with you, Gustavo. What is your definition of a man? Uh, thank you, thank you. I mean, you yeah, gotta, think, gotta think about this one. Hold on. Yeah, like, what, think describe a man to you. Like, what do you yeah. mean, like, a man based off of what I feel like what is, what it is to me? What is the I'm man? Society, what is, like, yeah, what is a man? You can do a society comparison as well. Man well, I mean, let's say scientifically, a man is someone that has the ability to have reproduction with a woman and have a child. That's a man. You're saying that women can't reproduce with women? No, no. Wait, are you saying it in a biological way? Yeah, I'm saying it in a biological way. That's what counts as a man. That's what counts as a man to you. Yeah. That's there's no. Th that's all you I need mean, to be a man. No, there is no woman that can be on the wall standing straight up. Well, I mean, there's no woman that can have intercourse with a woman and have a child. It's impossible. Actually, it's been proven you can use the bone marrow of a woman and create a child. Although <laughs> really? it comes out with severe, you know, consequences. What is it like? You can't. You can't do it naturally. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Biology, like you know. So you're saying a man, someone is a man with two testicles and a penis. And yeah, like, yeah, that's a man. That's what you count as a man. All right. Yeah. Okay, Sam, what do you count as a man? Is it different? I don't really know. I mean, conceptually, he's he's right, but I, oh. I think it, it's all based on how you perceive somebody. I mean, a man is whatever you want it to. Jacob, you've been awfully quiet this podcast. Well, what you what do you say a man is? In my opinion, a man is a person with obviously with like a penis and everything. But a man is a a man who can a man who can uh, a man who can uh, a man who can stick to his principles no matter what. Because you know, I may disagree with someone, but I can at least respect if they're not flip floppy. You know, if they're consistent within their life and their principles, and they can hold that as like a moral standard for them. I think that's what really makes men, as uh, men, men who have principles and who fight for them, no matter if, you know, other people are fighting against them, they stick to it. And I think that's a pretty core value of what makes a man a man. Matthew? Words out of my mouth. I was gonna say that exact same thing. Yep. Were you guys actually gonna say that, or can you not? Think I, was, I was gonna say it like a slightly different way, but I think you pretty much got the base of what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, I was about to say, like, man, man, you can sit to what he believes in rather than what yeah. I was Well, now, like, based off of, like, what I mean, it's not society, but like, what is counted as like a man. Like, I think a girl can be a man sometimes for sure. Like, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, like, take, I, take the role of, you know, being. The head, like have like 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 having the pants, the, and the, the alpha, oh, be the, the alpha, alpha of the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can fit. Yo, is I, I feel like that's like an attractive quality if a woman takes leadership. I don't know. If, am I just like, is that weird? If a woman's like takes uh, charge. I mean, if if she's like, like not if in like she's like tucking you into bed, that's kind of weird. No, 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 not like that, bro. But like, like she, like if she's in the group, she's like always the one that's chosen as the leader. Well, what she's if, always the most composed. I mean, it, there's a difference between acting between a girl acting manly and a girl acting um, like a leader and confident and powerful in her shoes. And I think the latter is what's attractive. I don't know if like you really want to say it as if she's become she's it's acting like, like she's acting like she has. Yeah. Well, you don't want to. I mean, you don't want to relate being a leader to being a man yeah. because that's yeah. just like I'll, I'll, like I'll, like yeah. to me that's just ignorant to, to say that because like. A, 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 a girl can be a, can be a leader at, at any moment. Yeah. I'm not saying that women. I'm not saying that. I don't want to Women can be alphamatic, but they can't be a, like you know that kind of way of women. When I said like a leader, I didn't mean like that. Like I didn't say that. Oh, only men can be leaders. No, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like just like to anyone that takes charge. Well, okay, well I'm not gonna say like I'm bisexual or something like that. But like anyone that takes charge, that's a good quality. For you. Uh. Uh, well, what about this? What if we use the scenario of like a single mother that's like trying to raise, that's trying to get her kids through college and she's working two jobs and she's like trying to pass all out and down her way for her children to be successful. What would we consider that at least? Because that's more than like just Well, I mean, it's thing. qualities of what's considered that's the brave. It, look, yeah. What it is, it's, it's the qualities of what is considered the, the typical gender roles of a man. That is what she's exhibiting. Is and if, when you work and two jobs and, and if, provide for your family, yes, that is considered the traits of what a man is typically known to do. But that doesn't make her a man. Well, that, yeah, that makes her a better woman. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 
definitely a stronger woman. I think if, if she can do that, that's that's very good for her. So. Oh, wait, so do we ever actually talk about what like a society perceives a man to be versus what we do? Uh, oh, I mean, society uh, thinks a man can be a man if they six say foot. That. They're over six no, foot. No, 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 easy. No. If anyone that's wants all you to be, need. Look, if anyone wants to be a man, they just have to say they are and they become a man. That's it. Do you have like an society. issue? With, do you have an issue with people saying, "Hey, I'm a man"? Or something like, like, uh, no, I'm like, I'm like, respectfully, you can be whatever you want to be. I have my own opinions. I have my own things that I believe in. You don't have to agree with it, but um, you can be do you boo boo. That's it. I don't like people that over exaggerate it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Like that's exactly. what. The, exactly. Like, yeah. Like I like. Okay, so I I know I know it's a touchy subject, but like I honestly don't I, care if we go into. Yeah. It. Okay. So it. like. The whole the, the whole thing with like uh, gay pride L- LGBTQ uh, community and stuff. I, I or like the alphabetical model. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, like I'm okay with it because I understand I understand why why why, why they would do it. Like, because because they're, they're people who just don't um, accept that and therefore they're like homophobic and all that stuff. Yeah. And I don't I and I don't like that. I don't accept that. But like, there's there's people that like are posting posting every day. Or, like, hey. I, Hi, I'm gay, or hi, I'm this, or I joined the LGBTQ community. Like, and yeah. like, you don't see you don't see people promoting black straight. Like, yeah, like, hey, I'm straight, or or like. Well, I mean, there is the like, super like, straight like, movement, so yeah, well, yeah well, that's done in response to well, okay, the yeah. LGBTQ community. Yeah, but I, but I, I do also think that that's wrong as well. So like, I, I, I yeah. think both of them are in the wrong. I I personally still have not understood what super straight. What exactly is super straight? Like it's a counteract is. movement towards the LGBT. But like, yeah. is it just saying, hey, yo, I'm super straight? No, is that literally just okay. it? I, I, you know, I like politics, so I deep dive into it a little bit. So essentially, it was, it was a group. It, it started from this guy from TikTok, and he said that he was sick and tired of being called transphobic for not wanting to date trans people. So he was like, I'm going to use your guys' methods and make, uh, he was like, I'm going to make a sexuality and I'm going to call it super straight. And like, that was the entire point. And a bunch of people, like they took that and they ran with it. And now like, in my opinion, I think I agree with him saying that you shouldn't call people transphobic for not wanting to date trans people. But I think if you genuinely call yourself super straight, you kind of went a little too far with the joke. And <laughs> Either way, though, it's still pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. But and then and then like and the and the reason why it was it was so popular is just mainly because of the backlash. Like from from the groups they were making fun of, they were like, no, 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 and like this. A bunch of people were posting on Twitter like this page is not a super straight, uh, safe page and everything, and it was it was crazy. Like they genuinely thought that it was like a threat, and then there was also this whole conspiracy that it was um, it was from like uh, 4chan by a bunch of Nazis. Like they made up the thing super straight, but, like, <laughs> but the guy who made the TikTok made another one and was like. What are you guys on about? And I make one funny TikTok, <laughs> and you guys connected to Nazis back in 4chan. And I'm a little scared. And... All right, but going back, Ed and Nigel, you were talking about like you, you. So you think that there's such a thing as overdoing it? Yeah, I, I, I am of the same mind. I think that the best people are the people that are just like one of us. You know, like they're just normal. You know, like. Yo, yo, out of context, out of context, out of context. Out of context. I mean, like. Careful how like, you say this. No, like I mean, like you just can't. Like they're not over the top. They're not like, oh, I'm so gay, and if you if you're not with me, you're, you're, you're okay. Okay. you know it, what I mean? Like it, it isn't a constant trait in their personality. Yeah, like they, I don't they, like. They, that's they, what I mean. Because you're out of context. Your personality shouldn't be. Yeah, like it's like your personality. Yeah, it's like I'm not taller. It's like your personality should be like I'm tall or I'm gay or I'm straight. Like that should be like personality. Like look at it. Like I I I consider. Sexual orientation, the same thing with race and stuff. I don't go around the whole school saying I'm black. Um, it's funny I'm the only, only like the only like dark person here, but I'm that's right. besides the point. I don't go, I don't, I don't go around, I don't go around every day saying I'm black. It's the same thing like if like people went around saying I'm gay and all that stuff. Like I don't, I don't care, I don't care like what your sexual orientation is. I don't, I don't care who, who you are, what, what what you are. When I meet you, I'm, I, I want to be friends with you. I want to date you, whatever, for your personality. And and it, it, it shouldn't matter that okay you're gay, but to like over exaggerate that like I just I just don't think it's necessary. I think in ways it's toxic, yeah. and I and I and I like it, it just it, it just does it just doesn't make sense to do that when you have a, a, like a, other other people who are this or that and they're not expressing it, but th- this is okay to express because it's 
is, is being tarnished against basically. Like I'm fine with them being like, but if I'm fine with them being gay, I'm, I'm gonna assume it. Like I don't care if you're gay, straight, like whatever. I don't even care about the skin color. I genuinely don't. Like I, what I care about is, if, are you a dickhead or are you not? Right. So I like if you're like over the top of that into where it's it's your only quality trait that I associate you with, then it becomes a problem. Because it's like. Like, I'm fine with it. Like, you're you, right? Like, the Bible literally says God wants you to love anyone. And if you want to love someone of the same sex, then fine. No, but go, like, like there's, go ahead. Uh, to contradict that, well, there's some... not evolving religion. No, 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 but like, that's just my really, just based on what I've seen and whatever. It's like, I don't care. You know, like, love is love. If you want to do that, go ahead. You know, like, I, I personally don't care. But if that's your only defining trait, trait is that you love this person and they're like the opposite or the same gender as you, then we have an issue because it's over the top at that point. Like you should be known as a person that's nice, not a person that's gay or straight. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's my thoughts. I don't know. Like I know that sounded out of context. Yeah, it's like sad. you have to be normal. No, nah, yeah. Sadly like, though, I mean, like, I mean, it, uh, I mean, identifying people as that sometimes as a personality trait. That's just how actually normal people do. Not normal people. I mean, straight people do. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sorry. dude, this is uh, this is so uh, crazy. Yeah. Screwing us over. We're gonna get okay, canceled. Okay, so like, like this, you know, this is kind of like a okay. So this is kind of like a segue. So like. <laughs> Have you, have you guys seen? Have you guys seen the video? Um, have you guys seen? Yeah, Lil Nas X, the, the, the Montero video. Oh, that yeah. I don't know if you have rapped with that. Yeah. Okay, so basically, what, what, I haven't seen it, but I've seen. Okay, yeah. So like, okay, so like, long story short, is basically a, a video of like what's gone on through his life, and like he's like he uh, came out as gay, and like the church like denied him and stuff, and like he he was like banished to banished to hell because he he, he was gay, and, and his family and his like neighborhood didn't appreciate it. So then like it basically transitions to him accepting that he's going to hell, and he goes to hell, and he, like he does a lap dance for the devil and all this stuff, and kills <laughs> the devil and becomes like it's, it, so like it, it's a lot of yeah it's yeah. A so basically so basically like a, because he involved he's fun yeah he's making he's a, making fun of it because awesome. people yeah so people are canceling him because he because he, he did that so I'll, I'll i'll probably say like with that like how, how 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 does that relate to cancel culture and like how we not, 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 not just just people attack people yeah just i personally i don't like cancel culture in the majority of situations there are certain situations where it's fine where yeah. you come out like Ooh, it I comes out that the person is a bad person i have a person I'll let you, uh, I'll do my pit, I'll let you talk, and then I'll let Gus talk because he's about to leave. But like, I personally- uh, I'll stay for 10 more minutes. You'll stay for 10 Yeah, minutes. I probably got like 10, 15 years. Yeah, all right, uh, we'll let you do your story, we'll let you have, do your story. Have, we'll I take do, a break. I do have a really personal story that I like, I am like very personally involved with, with cancel culture. Go ahead. If you don't mind. Floor is all yours, buddy. So, thank you for um, the transition. Floor is all yours, buddy. Um, So, as y'all know, I work at Bluefin Sushi. Um, and one of the things that recently happened two weeks ago was, uh, we had, I'm a, I was hosting uh, that night or that shift um, and these, uh, there's two African Americans uh, that came in. There was an African American couple. They came in, they sat down. Um, and what happened was um, I, when you take a table, you go and tell the server that, hey, they have this table so that they go out and greet the table and they start serving them, of course, how normal, normal it goes. I'm kind of scared to see where this goes. So yeah, well, this is what I'm trying to explain. We're talking about how cancel culture and how it goes. So I went, I told the server, hey, you have uh, A3, which is, you know, table on the windows. And um, what happens was um, she, she heard me when I said they have A3. And so she, you know, knows. And then someone else told her, hey, I need you to bust this table. I need you to bust C3 and you have this ticket that needs to be paid out. So she's thinking about all these things on her mind. Um, and she never ends up going to A3 to greet the table, okay? So it's it's partly her fault because she just didn't remember to go and greet the table. Um, but what had happened was um, tables get missed all the time, right? It's a normal mistake. It happens all the time. Yeah. It has nothing to do at all with race. There have been times when people just walk out of the restaurant because the server forgot to go over to the table. It's it's a genuine mistake. It's it's happened before. People don't really notice it, and then they write a bad review, and then that's it. In this particular case, the the couple got up and they went to the bar, and they went to my manager, and they told my manager, "Y'all don't serve black people. Why is that?" 
And then my manager said, what? No, he's Asian. He doesn't speak English very well. He's from Singapore. He's Chinese. I, you know him. You yeah, saw him. Cool he's, nice. he's extremely nice, extremely humble, loves talking to people, loves forming relationships mm -hmm. with everybody. And he was so he was caught so off guard by the fact that they had gone up to him while he was just uh, at the bar. And they said, are y'all a racist establishment? And like whatever they said. And he was like, no, absolutely not. Right? He was he was shocked. He was stunned. He didn't know how to respond to what was being said to him. So they left. They wrote a bad review on Facebook. OK, and now we have over 40 bad negative reviews on Facebook that all claim that they have been refused service for being black. No way. Are you I'm actually serious? I, I'm 100% serious. Happened. You can look at, the, at at Facebook right now and you can, right. I'm sure, you know, maybe some of them were deleted. I'm not sure what happened, but there were, there were at one point a long chain of horrible uh, Facebook reviews claiming that Bluefin was a racist establishment because one table didn't get sad because they happened to be black and they didn't get sad. That's crazy. And, and the worst part is, I can guarantee you that a lot of the people that wrote these reviews had never been to Bluefin before. Because if you look, they were friends of the original person or the original couple that came in. So they just say, oh, okay, well, if, if you know, um, my cousin who went there said that they're racist, then I'm gonna say that they're racist too. When they've never been there, our entire staff is extremely diverse. Oh yeah. We have like sure. there there's there's like I mean I've been there once. I, I know can, I can testify to that. I know there, there's true. there's like mixed people. There's people from China, Korea, um, Mexican. We have like illegals in the back, don't tell anybody. Uh, we have like a lot <laughs> yeah, of people knew. from, from <laughs> like knew. a lot of races everywhere. So for someone to come in and because they got skipped a table on accident and they weren't served, for them to automatically assume that the establishment is racist, I think is completely horrible and and the fact that it blew up at one point uh fox news was going to come and do an interview no on the way. establishment wow. but we uh we we got in contact with the person and we had we had them hop on the call with them and it got sorted out but that's just a testament to literally how bad things can go out of hand because <laughs> one person decides to slander a restaurant that's cool. um, regardless of the, like whatever happened it was it was a mistake that's just how it is and for people to automatically associate that with race, I think it was completely horrible. I think that there's always a thing that should be said, and I think that people still fail to comprehend it. It's guilty until proven innocent. Like that, that was a simple, I mean, innocent and proven, yeah. Uh, or yeah, yeah, innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> my bad, my God, I I'm destroying this whole point. I'm messing, <laughs> oh, oh man, oh man. No, innocent until proven guilty. Thank Christ, that's not what I'm about to be canceled again. All right, anywho. And you, guilt, oh my God. Innocent until proven guilty. Oh my God. But like, I think that people just fail to understand that like, no, okay, like I, none of us are in the mind of the waitress or the waiter. Who was it? Waitress or waiter? It was, it was a waitress. Okay, she, so none of us she, are in the mind of the waitress. You know, they have, they literally have so much to think about at yeah. one time. Oh, it's yeah. extremly hard, it's hard to be a waitress. Yeah. Until, yeah. until you put yourself in the position of a waiter or waitress, you really don't know how yeah. hard that, you yeah. Now, for all, for all intents and purposes, Maybe she was. I'm not saying she was. I'm not in her mind. None of us are. I hope she's not. And for the sake Absolutely. of the story, she's, I'm gonna... she has a black boyfriend. Though. I'm just <laughs> for the sake of the I story. Know her. For the sake, <laughs> for the sake, I'm just gonna say neutral and say she wasn't, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna stay on the neutral side and then play it safe, right? And say that she was. Now again, again, we don't know what's going on in the mind of anyone. Hell, I mean, we don't even stop the time us boys don't even know they're going through our mind in the middle of school. So. For all intents and purposes, she could, but she's probably not given the situation. Now, with all that said, like you shouldn't. Uh, what should have been done is she should have talked to him, you know, after say that this was this is my fault, this is my mistake, or something yeah. like that. Or they should have just waited and let like the whole situation unfold to well, say she, she that was... this is what happened and not what you think. It's not that bad. Like please understand, we're not doing this wrong. And I think that people understand that there's a fine line between what's right and what's wrong. And that is clearly like way under the line. That is like, that, there, that shouldn't be an issue. Yes, it's like a mistake. It's a common mistake. And it's unfortunate that it happened to anyone. Like you'd obviously love the perfect serve. Everyone. But who like, wouldn't? But like to blow it out of proportion like that to where now the news might potentially get involved, that's wrong. Like, what, are you making it better? Like this is making it worse. But I get, what, I get what you're saying. But at the same time, oh, like shoot. you, um, so it's like, like, like you said that 
to have to have that time for it to blow over. On social media, you don't have that time. It happens so fast. It happens, it happens yeah. so quickly. Like, 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 like I can just, I can just think of one situation. The, the whole thing with James Charles and, T- and Toddy, and like whenever, whenever that, uh, like all, all that happened. Like, am I just out of the loop? What the heck happened with this stuff? Okay. Yeah. yeah like, okay. So like, I'll finish first. Finish first. Yeah. So like, first. like, I, I can think of like any, anything that's happened to like people who've been canceled. Like, most of the people have been in the right, or or they or or they've either been in the right or they've been in the wrong and corrected themselves immediately. But on social media, you don't have that time to, um, to like for it to blow over because the second that 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 YouTube video was posted or the second that Instagram fo- photo or or bio was posted, or whatever. People will jump on it and be like, "Oh, that's ba- uh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, he should be canceled." And all of a sudden, that whole cancel culture thing just comes caging in on one person, and that could destroy someone's life. Like James Charles, when that whole thing happened to him, he lost like four million subscribers. That's that's less money that's going to him. He could be he 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 could be out, like out of out of uh, I don't know his house his house the thing whatever. Yeah. But like that 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 could be a, a really bad situation for him. All because somebody took something out of context. Yeah. So it's like on social media, you have to be so so careful about what you say because yeah. if even even if it's something to where it's not bad at all, but you say it in a way that other people wouldn't say it. Exactly. And, it, and it's like okay, one person's gonna say that. Oh wait, did you mean like this? And then another person, another person's gonna reply. Oh yeah, he, I think he did mean it like this. Like, yeah. Oh really? That's 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 messed up. And then and then like I don't care. Yeah. Oh no, I, I exactly. Personally, I don't. But yeah. So like. You have to be so so careful. I get I get what you're saying, but at the same time, it's like the different situations. Like, in person is different than what, social media. And, and that's 100 true. And I want to say one more thing off that point because it's 100 true in person. Like, you can be canceled over social media so fast, like ridiculously fast. Um, I have one more example before I had to head out. I'm gonna and, let Gustavo talk after you finish. Okay. Your yeah. 100. percent um, it was basically, I got it invited to a group chat for, for Texas Tech. Um, and there's like 700 people in the group chat for, oh, for Patio. God, you know, there's it. Yes. Everything's going on in that one. And so, and so immediately, like, you know, we started going crazy. Like, it's like, it's not a boring group chat. We start talking about everything. Like, there's like so much like shit going on. Any specifics? And yeah, it's just like, I don't know. We're, we're just roasting each other. Just like yeah, having yeah, fun, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so people start making jokes towards me. And I'm not one to take a joke without reciprocating the energy. So I'll be like, I'll, I'll do like an inappropriate joke back. And then as soon as I say, I said one thing that went too far and then immediately I'm canceled. If like with, with a lot of people in the group chat. And the thing is, it's it's not because, um, it's not because it's, it's objectively what I said was bad. It's because one person took it negatively and then they, they go and say it and then other people think, yeah, you know what? I don't want to agree with with what comes off as bad, so I'm gonna agree with the person who's oppressing him, right? Because when you agree with like the non-offensive part, of, like you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, we get because you, bro. it, it yeah. you know it's always better to seem like um, you're not the aggressor. In in this situation, you're you're always trying to. It's always better to seem as if you're talking someone down. When after this whole the whole thing happened, when it blew up and like everybody started going crazy on me, I got like five or six DMs saying, "Hey man, I'm sorry about what happened. I actually agree with you," but they were all in private because no one wanted to say something in the group chat with 700 people that actually agreed with me. You know why? Because if they agreed, then they would have been canceled as well, right? So all the blame was put on me when they, when people actually privately messaged me saying they agree with what I said. They like da 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 like all because of what happens when one person doesn't like it and then a few other people start to bandwagon that's literally a chain reaction of what of how cancel culture begins so i'm going to transition from you yeah I mean, Stavos, this is going to be your last act of the yeah episode. i mean uh, i'll i'll give you like a topic to talk after this uh, oh, yeah, sure. transition do it up do it up so basically um yeah i mean this is just one of the downsides of i guess social media and like uh cancel culture i mean it's it's really dangerous nowadays. Extremely dangerous. You say one thing, you mess up your whole life. Yep. And so I guess that's. Uh, Bro, people who are gonna honestly, listen to I think this is it's, yeah. a, it's a good. It, it's not really a good thing, but it's a. It's like affecting, I guess, like being boys. Actually, I'm yeah. trying to relate this to the, to yeah. the podcast. I mean, can boys really be boys nowadays? Nope. Uh, Dude, like boys from back then, like would never survive in today's climate. 
Yeah, it's sure. insane. I'm so, trying. I'm trying to think of the things we like. We do like, like for example, like we're all in, in the locker room and stuff. Like, oh, good God! No, 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 no. Okay, so like, hey guys, uh, what's up? It's uh, it's me. Um, yeah. So uh, we are now in a little bit of a break. This is the first of three breaks. And I just wanted to say uh, thank you all for listening. You know, um, very much appreciated. You know, I'm only going to do a limited amount of these ones. And so it, it means a lot to me if you guys listen to them. Um, so I just want to say thank you. And uh, if you guys ever want to join it, if, if there's any of you that are listening to it and you just want to join, you, you got to message me. Uh, tell me why you want to join. You'll answer a few questions. Just, just see how how you would respond under certain types of questions. See if you're able to give well thought out responses and just 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 be yourself, basically. Uh, but yeah, so uh, thank you all for uh, listening and uh, enjoy the next portion. See you guys in a little bit. Locker rooms. So, um, yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So basically, what I was talking about was that like. Uh, like Gustavo went off the point that like boys can't be boys anymore and I was talking about like how like you know when their locker rooms like whether we're, like we're athletes or in PE and stuff but we always like joke around and um, quote unquote act gay with each other and like people like even people even think that is not acceptable because it's like oh you're trying to portray a character that you're not like the, guys just guys can't really just like I don't know, girls. We can't be us, you know what I mean? Yeah, and like, and I and I feel like girls can, but when guys do it, it's like it's different and it's wrong when girls pretty much do the same thing. I think a good example of this uh, is like when guys dress, dress feminine. You're like we did discuss this in the last time you were on this. It's like when you you like I literally I, I, like I thought you were gay even though I knew you weren't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just thought you were. I was like, this is weird. This this is not what I'm used to seeing. You know what I mean? Like, but I was like. Like it. it's like it's just weird because it's like you're not you know like the normal by what people perceive in their everyday life and it's like you're not it's like you don't care but some people do they don't yeah. dress the way that they want to you know yeah, what I mean? because they're sure. like they don't they're not allowed to because they're scared that people are going to hate them for they are you know what i mean and this kind of takes back to the hands coach thing but harry styles does the same thing cool. okay uh, yeah. i did want to say him saying that, oh, he had a toxic masculinity. He was wearing like the ugliest, like, what, what even was it? Was that the a scarf? Yeah, that, that was like one of the ugliest things I could have seen. It's like that and the toxic masculinity. Literally, I see Steve do that every day at work. Like, like I don't know, like, everyone can be them, but like, how is that ending toxic? People are saying he ended toxic masculinity no. just because it's him. I don't, I don't think anybody will ever end any like issues that are growing like toxic masculinity, racism, and all that. I don't think it'll ever end. Yeah, you, don't think you, it'll can't, ever end? you can't just end it single handedly. Yeah, it's, it's not something you just like, you know, no. it's not like a chessboard. You just like checkmate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> toxic masculinity, you have been done. Get out of here. <laughs> Fatality. All right, so what are your thoughts, Cam, on the whole I, issue about I mean, boys not being boys? I don't, I don't really know what boys will be boys even means. Like, what do you mean? How I always knew boys would be boys is like a bunch of kids crazy. go around the neighborhood ding dong ditching people. <laughs> you know, like that's that's just just kids having fun. Like that's dog, we mean kids. I still do that. Yeah, exactly. I mean it has nothing to do with like boys being boys, but like if you say it I know there's a there's a lot going around yeah. about like sexual harassment, the ninety seven percent and all of that. Which is Wait, like what do you mean? Maybe. Have you not heard about that? No, so, so there's yeah, a study in the yeah. UK. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jacob. You might know you might know more about this than I do, but thank you. Yeah, you get political, <laughs> Jacob. But uh, there was some some survey, and uh, the results came out that 97 percent of the women that were old had experienced some sort of sexual harassment, which obviously is not okay. And there are a lot of people to blame for that, but. I mean, if, if that's what people mean by boys would be boys, that they're going to assault women or, or whatnot, like, that's not okay. But, but like, boys will be boys ding-dong ditching their neighbors and spray painting <laughs> walls, like, whatever. Who gives a shit? You're not hurting anybody. Well, I mean, my opportunity is, like, spray paint a person or some shit. 
I do. I, I know what you mean. Well, I mean it's like, just like, the like people are yeah, naturally take, nature. People always take it out of like, take it to an extreme with everything. And that's one of them. People can take that to the extreme. Yeah. Wait. What poll was this that 97% yeah, of people was, were? Okay, so it was a yeah, it you was, tell, you know. It was a UK <laughs> poll and it was done in a certain area and it was and it, okay. I I'm not saying I mistrust it because it had it had the correct amount of people. It had like 1,500 people. That's a sample lot of people. Size. Like that's good. That's a good, that's a good size, sample right? size. But the problem I had with it is that I couldn't find the margin of error. So I couldn't find out if because you know everything has a margin of error, but they didn't display the margin. Also, I couldn't find any of the questions they asked, and I couldn't find necessarily what they thought was sexual harassment. Yeah, you know? it, which because, is subjective. Yeah, because a lot of times, like I've heard women say that men looking at them in a weird way sexually harasses them, and I even mean, rapes them. And it's I mean, like, if you're looking at like if it's like an old man and it's like a really young, like that might make her uncomfortable. Yeah, like if he's like, like that makes sense. If it's, if it's, like, it's like staring, where it's like like you lick your lips at you, like yeah, like that's yeah, like, yeah that, that that is oh going overboard. But yeah, it, I and like. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 97%, yeah, but I'm, I'm still a little skeptical because of like the lack of information. But what yeah, would you I say could, is like the, what would you say is a reasonable uh, based on the if, if I, based I on say, your, your, you my, Jacob husband's thought. I would say probably since it was like young too, I would say like 65 to 75%. Which because, is still horrible. Yeah, because, the majority. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's, because it's like young. Zero. Yeah, because yeah, really sure. it's younger people and like, you know, Parents have a hard time teaching their kids, like especially boys, how to treat women. And then, like, I guess it'll go off a tangent, but then, like, boys see stuff like rap videos and like YouTube videos of like guys absolutely disrespecting women and seeing women as like objects and stuff like that. And that reflects poorly. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with watching rap videos, not at all. But as a parent, you have to be like, listen, that's just for show, you know, like that's just for fun. You shouldn't treat women like that at all. Like, that's not. That's it's not something that you need to grow up to be. But you know? at the same time, I think there's there's double standards because, like I've okay, so um I watched a so I can you, you guys know who Steve Harvey is, right? Yeah. yeah. So like you know how like he um, he doesn't have enough, but he used to have like a talk show, like a, yeah, a yeah, talk yeah. Show. yeah. So yeah, so they do this uh, thing thing like in the beginning of the show called Ask Steve, and then they, they do these questions where like the audience asks uh, the Steve something, and he answers them. So there was this about like. 70 year old woman, white woman who um, has a 32 year old black trainer um, who, who like tra trains like in the gym and stuff. So like they showed they showed like, like a shirtless picture of him and stuff and um, and like and like all, all the girls were like like hyping her up and like oh go get your man so all that stuff and I'm like okay. I mean, yeah, go go go, go ahead. Shoot your but, shot. But, yeah, like, but if it was a reverse, there was, that's what I'm saying. It's like if it, if it, if it was a reverse. Um, then people will be calling the guy nuts and creepy and stuff. So what? So when it, we're trying to relate it to sexual harassment and stuff, it's, 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 it's the same thing. There are many guys who are sexually harassed um, by females, and that doesn't get broadcasted as much as the other way around because guys are more aggressive, maybe. I was going to say more insecure, and they'll keep it to themselves. Well, yeah. You know, you're not meant, to, because society perceives us as, like, people are their mental, like, yeah, but also, yeah, but, al but also with, with, with like, the men being more aggressive part, like, females come come out with marks on their neck or stuff. Yeah. But for, for guys, it's not it's not as, as, um... Since they call it mental? Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not as often to where, like, it, like, it's physical, but girls will, girls have the power Thank to seduce sure. guys. And like se sexually in any way because guys like guys are probably even more vulnerable than girls in, in some cases. Well, yeah, uh, I, I'm sorry to like cut you off or anything. Oh, go ahead. I just wanted to use like the, that kind of scenario where like you know they asked her on a talk show. There was like this certain talk show where like there was this guy who had a, a crush on his friend, but his friend never knew that he was actually gay. But they were really really close friends. And then all of a sudden he revealed himself on towards the talk show of the guy that he was gay and he was in love with him. And things like that of nature and you know uh you know he put on a face for the you know the talk show and said like oh that's really really cool and all and then like a few days later after the show aired he went on to go kill that man what uh, the oh jesus that's the accelerated equipment that's not even like oh he, he just told me he hates him or something like that jesus christ he killed him well yeah because he was humiliated people thought he was gay yeah, I don't see what the issue with being considered gay is. Well, okay. I, I mean, obviously, if like, it's like, if, if it's, it's like, that's a big, 
That's yeah, a big yeah, thing. It's, it's a tough it's thing. Because, yeah. yeah, like, you could make the argument, like, well, what's wrong with being called gay? And I, obviously, he shouldn't have killed the guy. Like, Jesus, like, man, like, chill out. But chill I think out. I think it definitely is, like, humiliated. Because, like, a gay person wouldn't like to be called straight. Like, sure, they may not mind. Like, if I get called gay, I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Like, <laughs> sure, like, you know, you know what, fine. If you think I'm gay, pull your pants down. Like, I'll show you something, you know? Like, I don't care. I'll, like, I don't, I just, I don't care about that stuff. But I could, I could get why some people would be like, hey, could you not, you know? Like, could you not say that? Because, you know, it's, it's embarrassing. Like, I know some gay people that wouldn't want to be called straight, whether it's because they hate straight people or it's just because they genuinely would be uncomfortable about that. So it's, but yeah, like, it's definitely a fact of humiliating, and it's also like, geez, like, yeah, that escalated really quickly, like. Welcome to the podcast, bro. Well, the terminology for the, like, the boys, like, there's a difference between, like, hey, man, like, you're acting so gay right now, and between, like, calling them gay, but then calling them gay. Like, with an E, let's not forget that part. That's normally, like, a huge deciding factor with dudes. It's like, I don't know. If, uh, I don't, was, no, 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 no. That was a middle school thing. I, like, no, I still use that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. E you, so you. Yeah, well, at the well, end, it says with a Y. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm, just, not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I, don't, I, I just don't want to. But. No, that's just, that was literally a meme. Like, do you guys not remember? Oh no, I remember. I, remember I just stopped using it. Like, what about the jokes of like, oh, bro, you're acting kind of sus right now. Yeah, like, yeah, everyone yeah, does yeah, that. Yeah, and that's, everyone does yeah, that. It's no hatred joke. towards gay people. It's just you know how the way we grow up. Yeah, and like I, I have a, me and my friends do gay jokes all the time because one of my friends is bisexual and he laughs at them all the time. <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, we named, we named uh, like we're playing Battlefield One. Which is pretty crazy because it's like a five-year-old game, and we named our uh, platoon Gay Mers. And, so, and like, I, he was, I was the one who came up with it, and he was like, "Bro, I want to be a part of the Gay Mers." And it's just, it's just something that, yeah, like it's, it's just. The, I honestly think if you're not just a little bit gay with your homies, are they really homies? Yeah, that, do exactly. this. Like, I mean, but there's like a limit. It's, 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 it's 100% accurate. If you can't, you know, like fool around like that, like obviously, yeah, like if if you. If, go overboard you go overboard when someone gets uncomfortable you should be able to be like hey man i know we joke around a lot but like let's calm down a bit but yeah like i don't think there's anything wrong with this i literally had a friend friend named ray Torres who like throughout like this period of middle school he used to tell people shut up before i kiss you like (laughs) Like, i did that all the time with my friends oh my god who did this Ray Porridge. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I'm yeah, Ray sure Jordan. Invented I say that with my friends like literally all the time. Yeah, I do too. I kiss you. Yeah. Like, cause I, 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 wanted to stop saying kill you, so I was like, what is something I can say that's still a threat? And I'll be like, I'm gonna kiss you, bro. You know, stop it, man. And then sometimes they're like, do it. And then I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm back. Well, uh, yeah, I dude. gave up. I lost the chicken. What is the gay, what is the gay chicken? That's the game that's called like that? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. I guess you backed out, bro. Well, speaking of terms, and this is like a real throwback, and I'm, I'm talking about the guy back there. You remember Cam Eats? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Dude, it was yes. literally in the Urban yeah. Dictionary. It got so popular. I think Jax did that. Was yeah. it actually? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what, was, what was the it's, thing in the Urban Dictionary? Literally, Cam would just post on Snapchat <laughs> or on social media. Literally him eating called hashtag Cam Eats. <laughs> hashtag Cam Eats. <laughs> and it got so popular. Like, I don't know why. Yeah. People were just like, yeah. Uh, dude, what funny. is he going to eat next? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, oh my gosh, that's oh, a whole trend. I remember school. Oh my gosh. It's just like growing up being so into food and like culinary and stuff. It was just like something I did as a joke one time. And then, now, then it became, it with, became like, part of you, yeah. yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess this is why you want to own a cookie store, huh? Uh, not really, but I guess. Oh, no, it's floor design, things, my bad. Floor design, my bad. Those two things kind of tie together, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> my car did you? like trash his floor design because like literally like um like when, when we're in choir he was like um like when we do like a certain part of a song he's like rate uh, rate how you did out of one to five is like one being the best five being this is a great floor design class so, like, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then the floor design teacher actually came up to him and he was like uh and then she was like um yeah i heard you were trashing flow design like i heard that you're saying that like flow design is like a really bad uh like that please don't choose that just uh he, you know, she was like okay you know what just choose pottery because they don't do anything in that class so I was like, and he was like okay and then he changed it to pottery so pottery. Yeah, floral yeah. design is kind of a bullshit class what, what do you mean i've me never been in it so i haven't just, either it just looks like bullshit yeah, you pay four hundred dollars apparently. To oh, yeah, I'm gonna like uh, I'm gonna pay four hundred dollars so I can put this lily over here and, and then a rose at this angle. 
Yeah, like, it all comes to what I don't understand is, like, another thing, like, let's just go on the funds. This is, this has been a long time coming. College boards suck my dick, bro. Oh my gosh. Suck it. <laughs> like, you guys overpriced Why the crap you? out of this. It's 80 bucks to pick one test. It's 95. Well, for me, it was 80 because I paid the early fee. Oh. It's like, like, it hits a certain deadline oh when it dumps. The, but, like, guys. They gotta make the, money, though, dude. Yeah. They don't need to make that much money. It's a non pro well, they they, It's not. They, they don't make money besides what you pay for their time. And we could rant. We could rant all all day long about it, but it won't change anything. It's still, it's still, yeah. still do the same thing. And it won't matter to us because we'll be going on to college. All five of us. Or we and we're gonna have to pay for college fees. Like, but Nick, I, you have to. Th- if I mean, College Board is providing you a service. And they have to make money, dude. Otherwise, they can't provide the You service. don't have to charge 80 bucks yeah. every well, test, though. Also, but though. they're getting you out of classes in college that would cost hundreds or thousands of dollars. Yeah. So like, you take this $80 test, and you don't have to take the $2,000 course in college. Yeah, think about that. They You're literally, safe, they literally they give you a piece of yes. paper, and you take it, and then boom, that's an entire class that's right there. And it's so they're, they're making money while saving you money. I don't know. I still, I don't agree with it. Like, we're in high school. Like, it's one thing if we're in college. Like, I get the college thing. That makes sense. Or a little bit more sense. It's, again, I still don't take the fees for anything. I mean, yeah. and you, you can't make the, you cannot make the argument that you won't be going to college. If you want, if you, would, if you wouldn't be, I'm not saying you are, but like, just jumping okay, out. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I've heard people say, oh, like, I'm, I'm taking these AP classes, but I'm not, I'm not going to college. So why are they making me pay? Why are you taking That's a AP choice. Class? That's a choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. You so don't like, have to well, pay for the test if you don't want to take it. Yeah, yeah so yeah. like, why, why, why are you taking the test? Why are you taking the class? So like, it's, I, I get, I get it's a lot of money, but at the same time, you're you're saving a whole lot more money yes. by taking the test. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, yeah. I feel like an absolute retard for like having these like dual credit classes and knowing that like I'm not gonna use them later. No, but like you can, like I would have rather taken dual credit. Honestly, some AP classes, I don't know if y'all feel the same, are total bullshit. Like they do not do it. Like this is not a college prep. This is still a high school class that I can blow off. You know what I mean? Like. Like right. government, the government feels like a blow up. Like, oh, dude, government. Like, is I'm not insulting. I'm not insulting Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood is a fantastic you. teacher, but the actual class just feels so easy compared to what it should be. Didn't you fail the first test? No. <laughs> no. I got an 88. I got an 88. What the hell are you talking yeah. about? No, I got an 88. Yeah, I thought you failed the first test. I was like, what are you on about? No, I blow failed the first blow. assignment because I didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Boy. Yeah, bro, this man. Okay, 60 questions. Okay, 60 questions, and he goes. I'm pretty sure like two days before it's due, he's like, hey man, can you send me all those questions? <laughs> no, I did like 30 of them. I just needed a few of them, okay? You had three weeks to do I'd already done. I'd already done the free response. I just couldn't be bothered to write Why a whole Why did you do the free for response? I would have sent that to you. I did the last one. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hook but, me uh, up next semester. No. <laughs> all right, this I semester. did it during the summer. Gotcha. But, but, literally, but literally though, like AP, like AP tests in the US are accepted anywhere. No, DC, like, DC is just in state, so it's like you're doing, just you're doing yourself. Like for me, for me, I'm going. Like for me, I'm going to Mississippi State. So, so DC would have been useless for you. Like exactly, AD's exactly. So like, so like I, so like, say Matthew, he's taking like he's taking DC classes. All of a sudden, he gets a scholarship to go to somewhere out of out of the state. Well, all those DC classes that he took are going to be useless because he. He's going. He's going somewhere out of state, so it's safer to take AP classes yeah. so you can have that college credit no matter what. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's that's a very good point. Yeah. But like, I don't think college should be as like I hated how we can take out loans of extortionate amounts. Like I can literally get right now. I can go to my bank and say I want a loan for a hundred thousand dollars, and I can get a Ferrari. Like I can genuinely do that. Well, that's no, not, not no, necessarily. Like, college like, people with like. I, that are like 20. Can the they can take out a ridiculous like, yo, amount like, of loans. Like people who have a hundred thousand dollars in student, like student debt has now exceeded credit card debt. That should not be the case. Well, we I should not have to worry about the rest of our lives having to pay off like college. I understand what you mean that people are like clearly abusing some of the system. Like my friend, like uh, during COVID, he literally went off of uh, unemployment during that time period, and uh, he was getting paid like five hundred dollars a month. And he was working for another job, so he was being paid unemployment, <laughs> like you know that like isn't exactly that. 
And he was employed. <laughs> yes, and he was doing this Big for four brain. months. He was doing this for four months. So once, you know, tax period comes up or the IRS picks up on that and say, hey, where's my money now, bitch? Like, they're going to get out bro. Yeah. Uh, and he Wait. wants to go to the military. So, like, good luck, buddy. What are your thoughts on that college debt? I, I mean, college is expensive, but you don't have to go. I mean, there are so many successful people that haven't gone to college and are doing fine. I mean, but this always stems back to society's pressure that but, you have yeah, to do for college. Yeah, for sure. For like, sure. And there's there's a societal pressure to attend college. And I think for sure there are certain jobs that, like, if you don't go to college, you're kind of fun. Exactly. Like, if you do, like, do computer tech and some guy goes to AM or some guy goes to, like, uh, Florida or someplace like yeah. that and you get like, a, a good computer tech degree and you just got your GED, you're kind of screwed there. I mean, unless you're way better than at, at what you do than what he does. Yeah, like, but, like are they really going to be able to display that in one interview? I I mean, it depends on what, it really depends on what but job like, you're applying for. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean, no, there's certain I, jobs I think like, college is too expensive. I, I do. Don't I mean, I don't think there's anybody that doesn't think that. I, like, it costs, and since I was looking at this, it costs for, for one year at Baylor, Sixty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Let's get that sixty thousand dollars. But see, the thing is, is, you don't have to go to Baylor. It's. A, I mean, I mean, that's a choice. But, then look but at it's so almost like, a monopoly. On yeah. Like how much power it gets because of the name and recognition. And then same with sure. it. Te- Texas A and M and Texas are fine, relatively yeah. speaking. But they're still like what twenty grand in state. Yeah, it's 15, about. It's, grand it's like it's like thirteen to fifteen. And I I wanted to go to Vanderbilt and I applied and I got accepted, but. Hey, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to AM because Vanderbilt's seventy thousand dollars a year. Exactly. Yeah, but also like, that that includes out of state tuition, which is no whole, for whole, Baylor. Like for real, it's like sixteen thousand more just because yeah. you're out of state. Like that makes no sense. Like, like I think that like, you yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't think there are people. This goes for sports as well. There are people who can't afford to go to college who should be able to go to college more than some other person. But they can't because they don't have the finances to do it. Like sports in America, I think the biggest issue is soccer. I don't know if that manager agrees with this. Soccer and basketball, when you have to pay like three thousand dollars to get into a team, that is a joke. Like there are like huh? Like summer. Or not, so like like Texans, eight, like AAU Texans, okay, eight, like yeah. people who are genuinely yeah, better than all these people on this on this pitch right now or on this court right now, they aren't able to do it because they don't have the finances sure. to pay for it. Like that's where this this country is so messed up with some things, and this is one of them. We put more emphasis on making money than we do on people's mental health and people's actual abilities. But yeah, at the that's... same time, but at the same time, we give chances to pe- to people way more than some other countries do. Definitely. So it's kind of like it's kind of like you have to like sort of like balance out which one, which one will, will be better. Like like okay, you can have this money because because I because I get it. Like there's some people who are like so so talented, like more talented than other people. But they need their money because and they don't they, have they, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like I'm not talking about the, that first. I'm talking about the company. Because if the company doesn't have money, then they can't let anybody. In. So For they sure. have to get their money somehow, and that's the way that they've decided to do but it. But look at how it's functioning otherwise. But places like Ajax, they've given free trials to places, or if they've been heard good things, if they've seen good things, if they have proof that this is good, they'll give a free trial to a player. This is Ajax, one of the best teams in the world. Teams like, uh, like in Miami, they'll give like a 10-day contract to people who have played in overseas, even though they've heard nothing about it other than the coach said, this guy's great, I think you should try him out. And then they'll try him out and they'll do it. Like, the teams should give, learn to, like, people should be learned to give others chances and not block them because they're like, ah, you don't have the money, fuck you, you know what I mean? Like, that shouldn't, you shouldn't block people from their chances of their dreams and their passions Mm -hmm. because they don't have the money. But there's also like, in terms of college, there's FAFSA, there's scholarships. I mean, if you really want something, you can go get it. Isn't FAFSA just getting out loans though? Like No. And if FAFSA is like money pay. grants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They it's, give you yeah. money. Okay. So, was, so I have a friend who's like not as financially well off as my family or, or some of us that are going to college without these scholarships that got a full ride to U of H just from his FAFSA application because he literally could not pay for school, but he's good enough to be at the school that they want him there, so they'll pay. The full ride, yeah. even, though, even though he can't afford it. Yeah, pay. exactly, so there's a balance. I mean, there's there's people that pay all of their college tuition, which is what my parents will do for me, and then there's people who have all of theirs paid for based on their own circumstances. Okay, and then let me ask, this, this is my advice to you guys. I don't know how you guys are gonna view this. Should athletes get paid in college? Yes or no? no? 
No, I mean, you can get your school paid for. I think that's great. Like a full ride scholarship for a, a good athlete. I think that's great. But I don't think you should be paid outside of that. I think it should be small enough to where if they fail or they get a crucial injury and then they're, they're screwed over, like they don't get a degree that's worth it, they can still survive out of college because there's so many college athletes that don't make it. What is it, 98.7% or something like that? Dude, some, dude, some ridiculously high number. I was watching uh, Last Chance Youth Basketball and like it was like it was like really, really tear jerking like to hear upon those players that the fact that like they have to go home and like somehow provide for themselves or like some, somehow be homeless sometimes because like they're trying to get a scholarship for a school. Yeah, and like look, if they don't get that job or they don't do anything else because they, they focused on athletics, like they have nothing to pull back. Like look at what happened. I don't. I presume everyone here has watched the Pursuit of Happiness. Like yeah, everyone, great. Mm -hmm. Like one person, a homeless person, basically got a job at a firm with basically nothing to provide himself with, and they made a movie about it with Will Smith as a star because he's good enough. It, it's showing that there are people that are good enough to, without qualifications, to succeed. Like you don't yeah. have to. No, I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not saying that like you have to like that. Like I'm not. I'm not saying that. It's like it's that's a fantastic story, but it's like very few people are able to do that. Yeah. Very sure. few people like these athletes. If they don't get into the pros or they don't get something from this, they're not going to be able to do it because their degree that they're choosing is something worthless because they need to focus on athletics because that's their only shot. Because oh, yeah. like there are. Some, I'm not saying that like all the athletes are dumb because I've seen the SEC like hurt like academic player of the week and they'll have like a 4.0 GPA in taking engineering. Or like, I saw one that was 3.99 taking physics as their major. It's like, these guys are smart. They can be smart, but it's very rare that you have those cases where they're so smart that they have the other backup. You know, like Stanford people, they're fine. The athletes at Stanford, they're fine. Athletes at Harvard, they're, like places like that, they're fine. But like major schools like Texas, Texas A&M, Alabama, uh, Clemson for football, like places like this, Miami, like places like these, where they're not predominantly focused on academics or there not isn't an abundance of opportunities for them outside of athletics. They're they're kind of screwed in their lives. Like think about it. That's why if I you, think that's why I think like colleges should uh, like I I 100% agree with Cam in the sense that like college students should not be paid for sports. I 100% agree with that. What I would say though was that like maybe in school because at, at the like NCAA NCAA like all all, all those like, associations they have money. They, they, they have countless amount oh, of, of makes so much money. I mean, Zion yeah, so, yeah, so like, like what, what they can do so. with like with the scholarships that they give, they can give like they can put like a backup clause or something like that to people who don't make it just so they have like money that they that they can use to like to uh, either go for another major or, or just provide for themselves rather than just leaving them out to dry. Because I think like that, that's sending one that's sending a bad message to people that actually watch this. The, the, basketball, football, soccer, whatever. Um, two, you're you're leaving people who have better benefit benefited your company out to dry with nothing while you are there and and thriving off of what they've done. So it's like I they shouldn't they shouldn't be paid because they're a college not like they're like they'll get full rides and stuff like they'll, they'll get scholarships to like pay for. But once you what like if they're not good enough and they don't go to the higher leagues and stuff, give them backups that way they actually have somewhere to go rather than just leaving them there after draft. Okay, so let me ask this one. Should academics people be paid? Because this is something that my parents have brought up to me. It's like, these athletes get paid. Pay the academic people. And to me, I don't wait, think- Wait, hold should... up, what do you mean by academic people? People that like aren't in athletics. So like people who are there for- In academics. college? Like academics people. Like, like in the college. general people. In college? The, yes. No. The people who get, like I've always said, it's like, do they bring the school money? Do they bring a billion dollar industry? I know, but if you're company? not if you're not paying the athletes, then why would you pay the athletes? Exactly. Like to me, the athletes are the ones that immediately are gonna every single time gonna make you more money. You know, well, like you know. Eventually, why? there there might be like some people like who might donate back to the school and might donate more than those athletes ever can make the school. But it's very rare that you see something like that, and that's a long run risk. Like if you're gonna do that, like you're gonna pay the athlete. Like look at someone like Zion Williams. Do you know how much it costs to get into a Duke UNC game? It costs five thousand dollars to get into the game. The worst seats cost five thousand dollars in Cameron what? Indoor versus Duke with Duke UNC. That's how hyped he got that school up to. Really? Yes, exactly. 
and it was a sold out thing. It sold out. $5,000 AC minimum sold out. Like, are you, like, but do you to, really think an academic person is going to bring Nick, something to like that in? talk about the whole situation about these athletes, most of them have to, like, they're looking upon this big ticket of them to become an athlete and go into the higher league so they can provide for their family. Like, their families are looking on forward to them as being their dependency of what their financial bed is. And why I think it's rude, why I think athletes should be paid during the NCAA is because literally Zahn said he couldn't even buy his mother a jersey. Like, I mean, he couldn't get her a free jersey. He had to go to the store and buy one for her. Yeah. And it's like, like people, he, like he literally, like his family cannot do anything. They were lucky that he was, has the body of a god, basically. I will, I, will, I will say this it is unfair it, it, it is unfair that college that, that college players put in the same effort as professional players and don't get paid uh, that, that 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 is unfair that is unfair to me cannot always the same effort but i get what you mean yeah yeah, yeah yeah like so like, it's it's pretty high up their effort yeah so I'll, so like that, that's what like getting get, I'll, I'll, maybe like getting paid up front rather than getting paid like like the weekly or the monthly like or, or, or whatever like i i just think that like they should be given money but not to the level that professional players get uh get paid why because of the academics that like you talked about like it's not it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be fair to the academic people who yes they don't bring as much money and they still bring money in like like the like like some of the things that academic uh, people with academics do like uh, whatever they do cancer like research and all stuff cancer research like all, uh, all charity that. work yeah like, like there's even like like food factories that are in colleges that that that's that students from so it's like they bring in money not maybe not as much because it's not broadcasted but it's you've got you've got to find a way to compromise money with the players because you give them the scholarships but then what else are you giving them besides that. Like you're just giving them the athletic opportunity. And some of these guys yeah. are walk-ons. Like, they're just playing on the hope that they get to this level. What do you, uh, Cam, what, what are your thoughts on this? Like, I know you've said your thoughts a little bit, but, like, yeah. like uh, how far, like, what what would you try and do to fix the college dilemma? Because, like, let's be honest, this is a dilemma. I don't know. I mean, so colleges have to pay their professors. They pay their, their, per, they pay their coaches, their staff, all of that. So, I mean... People have to pay for college, and the trade-off of being an athlete is that you don't have to pay for college. So I don't see any reason to for a college to pay an athlete to play a sport other than to pay for their education. Like to have a free education is so huge, especially given how much it costs to go to these big schools now, like tens of thousands of dollars per year. I mean, I don't see any reason for them to be paid. It just doesn't make sense. But like, they make the school so much. Like, look at yeah, I'm like, sure they do. Like, I mean, well, but oh, hold on, I'm not <laughs> crazy. One uh, thing about these athletes is that most of them don't go in for like any reason for educational, like any educational reasoning. Like, you know, they only have to have a 1.7 GPA for like the first semester, and then the rest they don't have to care about. Yeah, like they can ben literally Simmons. not even show up to class after that. Yeah, that's what Ben Simmons did. Like, he did that for his first semester, and the next semester, he didn't even show up to class. They just trained him. <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's the issue with college. Like, they don't prepare them for the... Like, college doesn't prepare people for the real world in general. In general. Some things will, for sure. So, like, if you do welding, yeah, that's going to prepare you for the outside world. You're going to be doing that your whole life, basically. Farming, agriculture, stuff like... No, like, welding, because, like, they'll teach, like... Uh, is it GLC and like LC? Yeah, like, like that's yeah, the, like, like that will be what like your people who are interested in doing welding as a profession that teaches you perfectly because it gives you everything you need to function. Yeah. And then our uh, uh, what is it? Well, Arch not architecture, um, agriculture. So uh, what is the one? FAPS? No, FFA. That will teach you uh, how to like function on a, a farm with like a particular animal if that's what you want. You know what I mean? But for academics, like the hell is algebra 2 going to teach me about it in life <laughs> like what is that what is my eighth grade ninth grade PE class going to do for me you know what i mean well, then, i mean yeah there's certain, i mean there's certain things but yeah then that comes to the argument of what do we count as education do we count as education as like creating jobs or do we count as education as like 
you know, like algebra two, like you know, math stuff like that. Because like, what if English. what if it just cause, works your brain? Yeah, because like it, it's it's like proven that like an educated like mass, like an educated like people is good for society. So should we? And like in algebra two, if you know, there's not a specific job you can think of, but how like think of how many jobs would require high level math. You know, like rocket engineers, NASA scientists, like engineers, you know, like but stuff like, like that. But the people who don't go to that, like that's useless for them. Yeah, know, and but, that's why they don't go to it because yeah, they but, don't would you need have, it. There's some classes that require that you have yeah, to take and, chemistry, and, and that's, and even that's, if you're in like... And that's where the whole educated masses things comes in, to where it's good to have these people informed. Also in college, most of the times, they're not gonna teach you some random crap just to lead up to something that you need, you know? Like, I'm going into like Gov and economics. They're not gonna make me learn about biology to get into Gov, you know? Like, that's not gonna happen, uh, they don't. This isn't they, high school, this is college. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's like, what I'm saying. Like, the thing with high school is that like, like p people say like, oh, in high school, you should teach stuff that are gen that are like gonna be towards things that you can actually do. People in high school, like half of, half of, half of us don't even know what we wanna do. In college, it's the same thing. Yeah, people. So it's like, so it's yeah. like, like teaching these general topics. I get it. Like some of it is like not needed at all, you but know. you need yeah. like I'll let you, get it. you 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 have you have this understanding. And I, I, this is probably, probably the last thing I say before I go. But um, like in college, you have the opportunity. You, you have the opportunity. You have you have all the all, all the, the things that you strive for to, to whether you're gonna be like a, a major in government, a major in economics, or whatever. You strive towards that major with things that they ask you you have a general view in high school because you don't know what exactly you're doing yet so it's like it's 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 wishy-washy with with how people view it all right so i'm gonna ask you two this question because i didn't i don't think i asked both of you i know matthew and jacob have been asked this where do you guys see yourself in five years <laughs> and if you pull some like right out of the hat and it's right in five years you have to prove. so if you if you were like five years ago did you think you were going to be in your bed like surviving a rampaging pandemic? Well, obviously not. Okay, so you were wrong there. So let's see if you can be right here. <laughs> In five years. Let's see if you can write. I will have just graduated college. I don't even know what I'm doing in college, so it's hard <laughs> to say what I'll know or what I'll be doing in five years. Where do you want to go with your life? I don't, I don't really know. I don't care. You just, you just long for the ride? Yeah, exactly, what? man. That's just good, going that's with good. the flow, dude. Just enjoying it while I'm here. That's how most successful people ride. Just go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's the only way I've felt is is how I should live. It's just. I think I think you I think you portray yourself like that, like because I'm, uh, I met you sophomore year, but then like throughout up like all the all the way up until this year, you just you just have this uh, aura of being a like, go with the flow type person and. You you have a you have a lot of people like like uh, you have a lot of people who follow you on Instagram and all that stuff. You have a lot a lot of people who know you, and it's not because that you're trying to be a person that's known. You're just no, being you're, you're, just, you're just being yourself, and people are, yeah. are attracted to that. It, it's and like and for me for me that that's sort of the same way too. Like like and this this is not me this is not me being egotistical or anything like that. But there's a lot, there's a lot of people that like talking to me. It's because I. You're a good person. Yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I like I like being like I'm an extrovert. I like talking. To, mm -hmm. I like people knowing that I can help them with or, or that I can talk through with them with their issues, with their problems, and all that stuff. And the same time, have fun with them, have a laugh, and all that stuff. So it's like you strive to be this type of person with your characteristics, and then you just go with what what what, what happens there. So like he, yeah. like, so like uh, Cam is a very go go with the flow type, like overall nice person. And then he just go he just goes on with his life being that type of person and he's and he's where he's at today. Same thing, same thing with me. I'm a very I'm a very nice out like out out outlandish uh a, encouraging type person and just go through with that the rest of my life and see where that takes me. And, and, if, and if I'm in a better place in five years, then there we go. Yeah. If I'm at the worst place to be. Yeah. If, if I'm at a worst place in five years, well then okay, I need I'll I'll, I'll strive to be better. And then you just go for sure. There. Wait, so what, what- I don't you think you need a plan. Yeah, yeah, you really don't. People always say that you need a plan before, when you're 20. You don't need, you need it by your 30s. That's when you need to know who you are. I don't think you ever need a plan, dude. You just-, just I mean, there's gotta be a point where you need a plan for like life. Just have fun, bro. Yeah, like, you can have fun, but you also need a plan in case something goes haywire. Yes, I mean, there's yeah. no- Wait, like, what happens if the stock market crashes? Well, no, 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 no. Oh, like, no. okay, I, I feel like you only need a plan at the situation 
like like whenever sure. whenever you are in that situation to where you're at rock bottom. Yeah. You don't need to plan for something that's you don't know it's gonna happen. Yep. Exactly. Like I I feel like that's like I'm not I'm not gonna plan for and this is both going towards positive and negative things. I'm not gonna plan for being famous. I'm not gonna plan for for uh, being rich and stuff. I'm just gonna go with the flow. And if okay, if I signed up for a lottery and I want a million dollars, okay, so I'm gonna plan from here. Where am I gonna go from from, from there? And I go and I go on. I'm not gonna plan for something that I don't know that's gonna happen. Like to me, that's to me that that's just idiotic. Like you can't yeah. you can't you can't do that. You can't plan everything. No, I mean you just gotta. You gotta live and you can plan for what you're gonna do during a day a given day but you can't plan your whole life out because it's never gonna live up to, to what you you want yeah exactly yeah. it's right. gonna be what you need not yeah, what it's you want. yeah it's just gonna be what happens i mean there's things that happen that you can't control you can't just plan it all out exactly. hey guys what's up it's me again it's another break um i think this is the second one there's supposed to be three i think but uh, yeah, so uh, quick reminder, uh, this is actually going to be episode 13. Yeah, I was kind of an idiot, didn't really realize that episode. we've actually had 12 up until this point. Um, and this is the 13th one that's being uploaded. Uh, so yeah, um, if you ever hear me refer to it as 13 or 14, no, I'm an idiot. Like it, it, it's it's 13 it's it's not 14 just that's just a quick reminder yeah just a quick message for me but uh yeah that's it all right guys so uh we obviously left off uh two of our guys now and uh now we're gonna get back onto the just the trio of uh, nick jacob and i of course and we're gonna start off with a new uh, topic of that sorts. And uh, we sort of got into it a little bit before, but not into a really deep dive. We're gonna talk about simp culture. Simp! <laughs> simp song. You say it too. You gotta say it too. Simp. Say it with them. Simp! <laughs> Is there that better? Yeah. Simps! All right, yeah. All right, All right Matthew, uh, do you All wanna right. start this off or what? Well, I, uh, yeah, I definitely want to start off with the note that, like, I feel like the, the, the term of simp has been, like, thrown around extremely hard, especially, simp. like, <laughs> especially with the whole new wave of 2020, like, just with Twitch being a, a mainstream uh, platform nowadays, and, and uh, of course, women abusing that kind of nature of that platform with their glorious looks and glamorous beauty that uh, they're using it for monetary gain. So in that kind of case, there's always some white knight, you know, some some man that like <laughs> thinks that his wallet will somehow open her arms towards him. And, and unfortunately, he's rather to be wrong. So I just want to discuss about sim culture and how much has it affected our social views on women and men. Okay, so first and foremost, if you're donating three thousand dollars to a woman just because she looks hot, you got some fucking problems. If it's not your boyfriend or shit, I'm gonna get canceled so hard <laughs> in this podcast. What do you mean canceled? You made a mistake. Ugh. All right, I made a mistake. Whatever. But like, if it's not your girlfriend and not your wifey or something like that, you are fucked if you were doing that. It's one thing if it's like a wedding ring or if it's you're spending that much on multiple dinner, like not like. Three thousand dollars for dinner. Yeah, like, like over time. Like seven dinners cost three thousand dollars. Like, okay, seven fine. Later. Four hundred dollars a dinner, bro. <laughs> Taking her out to Fogo de Chao for the all you can eat buffets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, shit, my word about If she's eating that much, maybe she shouldn't be spending four hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least that means that means that means body shame. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jacob, you body shame. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's look. I'm. Oh no. I have fudge. It's okay, guys. Listen. <laughs> Yeah, but you said, I remember I asked you, hey, do you not respect fat people? You said, yeah, I don't respect them. Because you're like, Rosie, a girl saying, yo, I'm 300 pounds at two, six foot. It's like, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Okay. But you're like, no, nah, you shouldn't be proud of that. What do you mean? What do you, what do you, literally, it? What do you last, literally last episode, you, you like roasting a woman for being like five foot tall and 180 pounds. Yeah, you know why? Because that's oh. fat. Okay, and listen, okay. Do I'm not, not respect them. Okay, I'm not saying I don't respect them, like their personalities, but I don't respect their health decisions <laughs> at all. Like I don't, I don't respect, and honestly, I think that like being, 
we're kind of getting off topic, but being fat can mean a lot of different. <laughs> being fat can mean a lot of different things. Like sometimes it genuinely speaks volumes about your personality of how like your self control, how hard you work, you know, how how like how, like how like you know committed you are to things. You but like, why did you it's because they're depressed? And well, yeah, and that's like, a, that's now a they're there. It's like okay, I've accepted it. This yeah. is my demons. I need to live with. But yeah, Are you but shaming them because they're living with their demons, Jacob? I think I think living with your demons is a stupid decision if you're just going to sit there and be fat and sad. <laughs> <laughs> let's use the comparison. Like, are we going to are we going to uh, uh, con- let someone continue and go through their down- uh, downward spiral of them abusing drugs? Because I feel like in that kind of way, food, food can be a drug. Yeah, no, food brings people immeasurable pressure. <laughs> pressure. Are you same with fat now. Same with sex. Pressure? Same with drugs. Same with. Oh, okay. We're getting way far. From yeah. Let's go. Hey, no, wait, no. You no. said sex. We can get back to Sims. Let's go. Sims. See, I like how I like they how, go, you think. how they go for sex and how they never get it. Man. I like how you think, Matthew. You thought sex. We go to Sims. Right. Easy as you like. Right. Okay. So like, back to the thing. Right. If you're spending a lot of money on a woman because she's a stream twin. The Twitch streamer. Yes, that was what I meant Movie to say. If, if she shows up her tits or her ass, and you're like, oh yeah, this is the shit that I. Not even it's full, full not even full foliage. Come on, come on. Not even full foliage. See my message. See my message. Please read it. Not even oh. full. Fo- yeah. Not even. <laughs> not even full foliage. Just like a cleavage shot, like a millisecond of it, like where it's just like a, what a normal person, normal girl wears, and she's showing that much, and you're like. Uh, $5,000 get donated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, queen. Where do they have this money? This yes, they know, like, bro. I've like, literally seen it on a, on a stream where like, he kept donating $100 until she noticed it. Until so she noticed it. Yeah, bro. And his, he said, oh, crap, my bank account just got stopped from spending money. Because it's like, bank you have like, a limit of $4,000 to up, upload to a single thing. You can only spend $4,000 a single day yeah. unless you get it predetermined with this bank. And it's like, this dude had to get capped because he did it. Freaking, he did a hundred dollars for th- to where he got four thousand dollars. He did it forty times. This guy did it forty times. He don't. This man was so down. Okay, I don't know if you guys have had a down bad moment. I don't think I have. I've had a down bad what was your down bad moment? My down bad moment. Uh. You don't sit there. Give it. Give it here. Tell it. Which best the, the name if you can. Well, I mean, she doesn't go to the school anymore. I don't think you need a name drop. Okay, you just need to explain his down bad moment. And then you tell us off camera. Just like yeah, fall, sure. like you know how like you heard the the name like the term like you can't like put a bow on a hoe because like you know she's like you you can't put a ring on her because like you can't make a wife out of a hoe yeah like you mean? yeah yeah yeah, yeah and obviously hilarious. I was trying to do that so like and then I found out oh oh wait stop yeah. just wait until after you no 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 they only see the, they only see this part yeah 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 uh, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Are you really spelling out their name with my? No, people? no, the initials. The initials. initials. No, dude, they, they don't even go to the school. Oh, what? They, they He'll tell you. Oh, whatever, 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 whatever. We're whatever. wasting their time. Yeah, no, anyways, point, sorry. That, that, anyways, my down bad moment was just being in like a, a fume of my rejection and just like noticing, oh crap, I'm not. It's not them the problem. It's probably me, which I fixed upon that. Good, good. You made yourself an even bigger problem. <laughs> no, but like, no, but like people, simp culture. Okay, first and foremost, let's get this out of the way. Simp is a term for someone that's doing something that they know that will not get them anything, but they still do it anyways. So just because you open the door for a girl and she says, oh, "Thank you so much," and you're like, "You're welcome," that doesn't make you simp worthy. Like yeah. you only get it's- called simp if you're like donating four thousand dollars. It's like, notice me, bitch. Yeah, it's, I think it's I think it's excessive. You know, and also I think I think you can have like, because like and like I don't think being a simp it's truly really a mentality because those people would probably <laughs> like they donate to them, but then it it's like simps are like it's like a mix of like incel and simp because so, like simps like remember the whole thing happened with the uh, one like Bernie girl when they found out the they had man. yeah when yeah. they they found out she had a boyfriend they were like. I can't believe you would lie to us. Like literally like, like, yeah, they completely (laughs) destroyed her. And it's like, dude, okay, guys, like I, sure. I don't watch her content. Sure. I think her content is mundane, but like, 
would you like, you guys really expect to have a chance with her like you don't even know who she is like calm down people like you don't you don't need to like absolutely destroy her career because she has a boyfriend like <laughs> yeah. oh my god like she got her tiktok uh completely banned yeah her twitter banned you know they, her they, instagram got banned yeah, yeah they went after her bro yeah the only thing that was remaining i'm pretty sure was her twitch because like twitch didn't ban her for that and she she's been she's been around still. Yo, I swear, Twitch streamers are they have the simp army at the dude Discord. Pokemon. Pokemon oh dude, tier three subs. That's how you know. Yeah, it's like a, it's know, like a it's like a like a it's like a the numbers on like the Jews thing except for the Sims. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tier three sub. You see that? You're like. But there's like different there's versions of like Sims. Like, have you guys ever watched the show You? Which one? I think oh, I just two. Heard of it. on Netflix. I don't watch Netflix shows. I've heard much. of it. There's I, yeah, I know what it is. There's a show called You, and it's uh, this guy named Joe. And he's like completely obsessive with this girl. He uh, inserts her, uh, himself in her life, and he seems like an overall like good guy, how the way he per- like he uh, views himself, he perceives himself from that girl's eyes. Like he, he kills her like ex boyfriend and all that, and like he goes like ham on her, and like. You know, all of a sudden she, she finds out like, oh, like you know, this guy's a murderer, and he, he ends up killing her because like, uh, he was just so obsessed with. Yeah, that. like that's. You just spoiled the whole show for Dude. everyone. <laughs> How can you do that? <laughs> well, look, I know you guys are gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah. hell no, we're yeah. watching it. But like the viewers, bro, all fifty of them. Sorry that's guys, fine. if you guys are like fucking three years late, then I'm sorry. Yeah, but, like, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's just their fault at this point. But like. Uh, look, at, is their sh- fault that they can't afford a Netflix account? Are you kidding me, Matthew? <laughs> no, oh no, God, no, 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 Matthew, no. classist. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, that's like another form of sympathy, like where like they just go beyond the measures of uh, in the physical form as well. Yeah. No, yeah, and it's it's yeah. There's a lot of different types of Sims because there's like there's like yeah, like the crazy Sims, and then there's like the pathetic Sims to the where they're like knights. yeah, where they're donating five thousand dollars, and then like then there are yeah, then there are like the white knights, but then there are the white knights that are just like genuinely like they don't have any morals except what the the, the girl tells them. So the girl could literally murder someone, and they'd be like, huh, she didn't do it. She's a queen. You guys are crazy, you know, and it's like they defend Lauren and Lexi. Yeah, it's like okay, so. guys, let's be real. Okay, is murder really that bad if she's this cute? Okay, like <laughs> let's be honest, guys. And yeah, like those types of Sims, that stuff is oh it's it, it, there's a wide variety, and it's scary. Okay, so then what do you think about the girls who exploit this? Like, there's some that like they don't they got out of the way not to exploit. So like Valkyrie, I don't know, you know what that is? Yeah, I know. She, she tries she not to Twitch. Exploit. She won the best Twitch streamer. Of the year, or yeah, yeah, best streamer of the year. Yeah, and I was like, and she does, she goes, she tries to go out of a way to like avoid sims, but yeah, like, it's just not like Doctor Disrespect, like still exists. Dude, um, yeah, they did. Well, because no, because Doctor Disrespect had a huge thing on Twitch. Like he's completely banned. Oh yeah, I don't know. That that thing is so weird. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. All right, okay. But like, I don't know. I just, I just don't. I don't like it when girls exploit it. I don't like it when dudes take it. I think that like there's a happy medium. You can donate like ten dollars to something for Day Street anymore if it's like they're, they're like donating to charity. Donate five thousand dollars. You know that's a good. Problem. But if you donate anything on a daily just so you, she can read off your name, you fucking suck. Yeah. Like you got some fucking issues, bro. Fix your life if you're donating. Five thousand dollars literally is like a scholarship for us in college. Yeah. And you're donating it to a Twitch streamer. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Money. What are they gonna use that money for? That's yeah. That's like yeah. if it. Let's just put it in perspective. If it, if you make fifty grand a year, five thousand dollars is literally ten percent of your salary, and you're doing it to a Twitch streamer. It's not even ten bucks. It's fifty. Oh, like yeah, I, actually, and I can't get some strip. Yeah, and talking about like the women's side of it, I think there are just genuinely women who are just like I don't because like uh, Pokemon is one of them. She had to put a limit on donations. Like, because people were, they were spending like three thousand dollars on her, and she was like, "Guys, stop!" And she would like refund it. You like, don't send me three thousand dollars. I don't need three thousand dollars. So she had to put like a cap. It's like five dollars now, which you know, 
like I can respect it, but yeah. And then there's the Twitch streamers that are like, oops, sorry, I need to go pick this up real quick. <laughs> yeah, like they, they're, they're, and they know what they're doing. <laughs> they can act like they're not, but they know what they're doing. And that's also just really cheap. But, I mean, that's what happens when Pokemon doesn't have enough streamers. Yeah, but streamers, you know, so. at the, at, <laughs> or many viewers. So. And yeah, and so I can res <laughs> I can respect the women who are just genuinely Twitch streamers because they want to be Twitch streamers, like Pokemon and Valkyrie and all that. But I can't respect the women that are literally just Twitch streamers to just show off their body and get a bunch of money. Like, have you guys seen the the gaming ones where it's like the game is like in this corner and it's really small and hard to see, but then <laughs> like them are like huge. Yeah. It's like most of the screen. It's yeah. like yeah, this is a gaming stream. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> this is quality. Okay, so then who's the best gamer? Who's the best gamer? Me. You're a gay. You're a gay. I'm a gay. I don't want. I don't want to stay away from like the the conversation. Yeah, we can. We can too. Like, like a, I had an argument with this one girl. Like she was like talking about tox toxic masculinity, and like I know we just talked about that, but I was telling her there is no toxic masculinity. There's toxic humanity. And she was like getting so upset with that kind of nature. And then I was like, okay, if you want to talk about everything bad about what men do, what about the exploitation of what women use their own body for, which you guys clearly, you know, hate that kind of exploitation, but somehow when it's a monetary gain, like they, uh, they use it to their will. And she like completely got mad. She was like, shut the fuck up, like all that matter. And I just sent her memes at that point and you know, Wait, if hot girls doing it or just what? No, like I sent her like SpongeBob memes after that. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, one thing that I hate that a lot of like, I guess liberal women would do is that they they have the thing where they're like they want like you know they have like they like praise the booty streamers and they praise these Twitch streamers that like go on and like show off their bodies, but then. And then they're like, yeah, women should be able to like show off their bodies and be extremely sexual all the time. But then they're like, oh, but the men, the men who are sitting there sexualizing those women, not allowed. But oh, oh, yeah. they, they can they can go in and be sexual. But if you sexualize them, it's wrong. It's like, well, then what's the point of them being sexual? Why are you turning us into objects? Like, no, we're not. It's like, dog, you don't want to be turned into objects. You should wear a yoga pants and like a bra. Like, yeah, are you like, freaking, yeah, like a see-through shirt and a bra and a yoga pants. It's like, what did you think was? I'm sorry, happen? but that's attractive. That's really fucking attractive. I mean, if yeah. you got nothing, it's not really that attractive. Yeah, and like for like, sure, I don't, I don't want to like sit here and tell women what to dress. But yeah, like, like what do you if, think if you, was if, gonna if, yeah, if you go on stream with like a tank top and like your bra strap is showing and like you're oh, you, like you got tons of cleavage and it's like a tank top or whatever. And you're in yoga pants. Like, of course guys are gonna find that sexy, you know? And do I think that those guys who like donate a ton and like sexualize them are in the right? No, not really. What do you expect? Like, do you really expect all men to be so perfect and wonderful when you yourself are not holding yourself to a moral standard? And that's why when it comes to like Pokemon and stuff like that, they're not at fault at all. I blame the men completely for all their crap. Like sure, Pokemon could do some stupid stuff here and there, but for the most part, she, she just she plays games she talks she does things and like i don't blame them at all i blame the men for overly sexualizing her for no reason but when it comes to like alinity that one oh alinity, that's you know I, that one with like the spaghetti yeah. that tried to copyright pewdiepie mm -hmm. for calling her a thought which i thought was pretty funny but, <laughs> and like uh she she purposely first of all she's garbage <laughs> she, well yeah that's all i remember she's got like her little spaghetti thing can we copy right beauty by um, that was a classic scene on her twitch <laughs> and then um and then like and like first of all alinity is just a, a genuine terrible person oh like she's, she's just a she's just a downright terrible person like she she literally admitted to marrying some canadian guy just to get into the country and then divorce him like she admitted that on stream and that's like illegal too you can't like marry into a country and then divorce immediately because then it's like okay well, you, didn't, you didn't actually marry for, to marry them you married to get into the country i mean if you're gonna disguise yeah. at least do it for like a year and then yeah and, them, and, then, like, and then yeah the, the, the Linity, she just she always she's and she's then always another... showing off her body and expecting a ton of money for it. what are you guys just talking shipping shipping like what People. like Shipping people, I think it's so like, like I well, think it, can we go uh, go back to Alinity real quick? I wanted to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh my I god, like, we're going back. I feel like Alinity is like, and uh, same with like all these other Twitch streamers that uh, they they're like protected heavily beyond the mainstream. And like, yeah. if 
like literally i think there was one time where literally showed like her showed her vagina yeah i know i remember that mm -hmm. yeah she showed her vagina and like she didn't get banned at all no she no did. she didn't fine. face any repercussions but like guys accidentally show their nipples and they're they're getting like a 10-day ban yeah and like i wouldn't necessarily say that it's like because i used to think it was mainly a sexist thing and while like you i could understand why people go for that but it's just i think we could just admit that twitch is just a terrible platform sometimes. like you and you can really tell that there's a lot of backstage bargaining that goes by because yeah like yeah you're right like some guys would just like show their nipple a little bit and it'll be like banned and then alinity will like literally show full-on nudity and nothing well there's some girls that like don't show anything and they're just playing a video game and oh lo and behold there's like a sex scene in the video game and yeah. then they're banned yeah and then they're banned and it's like whoa it's sexy yeah. Yeah, like, no but like dude, and it's even funny when it's just like a like a hug and a kiss and then they will cut the black and then you'll resume later on it like they've waking up and then they'll be like banned yeah <laughs> sexual content <laughs> dude like i remember there were so many like streamers playing last of us too and oh, there's yeah, this part that. where literally he's hitting her from the back and like so many people have gone banned <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i was like oh dude, my yeah. god and, and twitch streamers literally freak out when those scenes happen they're like oh <laughs> fuck guys guys, like, guys chill out just get the window down and then when, it's the coming, window down. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it's copyright music it's even funnier Oh my oh, god, dude. Copyright music. Oh my god. Dude, the, you guys know the meme about like Snoop Dogg, like where he, he got Very on like specific. stream for like 15 minutes and then like. It turned, uh, no, it was turned into 15 hours or something like that. Yeah, it turned it like, yeah, he got on stream for like 15 minutes and he was like, fuck this shit. He got mad at a game and then left and his stream was completely on and he was playing copyright music and he never got banned. Or, yeah, because it's Snoop Dogg, bro. Yeah, but that's the thing is that's that's, that's, that's yeah that's it. that's the that's the backstage thing like you know like if they're making a lot of money and they're big time people Twitch is probably just gonna slide them a little bit like okay you're good. Yo, I don't know if you guys know this, but my this podcast is banned in a few or my stuff is banned in a few countries. Really? Cuba, what? North Korea, China. Oh well, duh. North Korea, Cuba, and China. Like obviously. And then there's All a random one in Honduras. Yeah. Honduras yeah. is the other random. That's like the random one. Honduras. Like, who's, who's watching? Who's watching this in Honduras? Who's like, yeah. How did they find Dude, this in Honduras? In the zone? Dude, let's go. It's back. Dude, they're too busy. To get into this country. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys. I'm gonna ask you this. Do you think I should get more than 25, 25 episodes? Because that was pre-planned what I had. And I've already recorded like three of them. Well, how many do you have left? Just seven. Two, just two. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm just saying, if it brings you happiness, do as many as you can. Yeah, like, I've told you this before. Oh, my God, that voice crack. But, like, I've told you this before. It's like, I'm only going to do it to a point to where it's, like, not passionate. You know, if I'm not passionate about it, then I'll stop. Mm -hmm. If it becomes a chore, I'll stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, like, back to the, this is going to be the last time. Like, we got to get some videos soon, bro. Oh, yeah. All right. Ships. Ships. Is it good or bad? Like, so shipping people online. So, like, Saikuno Corpse, Jack and Markiplier, Dr. Ray and Saikuno, like, Corpse Saikuno. That's the one <laughs> that is actually. Pokemon think, and, like, literally every dude. I, I think at, I think at <laughs> first it's, like, harmless, you know? It's like, tee hee, what if? And, but I think the problem is, is that then there's people taking overboard. And then you get, like, the fan fix and, like, drawings oh, and it God. and like i i honestly feel bad for the youtubers because some of them are genuinely like that's disgusting like they're like i don't want to think of like my friend like that or like you know a person like that and like you know some some of them laugh at it and like most of the times they do because like you know like with markiplier and jack Septicai, they laughed at it all the time and made fun of it like pewdiepie and like PewDiePie and Cry, PewDiePie and Cinnamon Toast Can, PewDiePie and Markiplier, you know, like they have all their fanfics. So I think at the end of the day, you're not gonna stop it. Like people are gonna do that all the time. Like they do it with everything too. They don't just do it with YouTubers. Oh. They do it with like animes, animes and like TV so shows. Like, yeah, like, oh But my there's God. such a thing as toxic ones Like too. Sasuke and Naruto, bro. Like I remember that one kissing they had in the first episode and like, People just made so many sketches out of that. Dude, I, I saw this. I saw, I saw this meme, and it was about you guys know My Hero Academia. I know. Oh, what you're talking I've about. never watched it, but I saw this meme where it was like My Hero Academia fans trying to ship underage people, and it was <laughs> oh my god. Because they're like, oh, you know this, you know this like. 
15 year old boy and this other 15 year old boy that literally hate each other in the story like from what i know i've never watched it but from what i know they literally hate each other they're like yeah you know this guy's gonna hit him from the back and you know they're gonna they're gonna kiss in, in behind the hedges oh like, yeah like it's like ugh. and like i guess it's just like just fantasy and everything but like man sometimes i'm like dude what's wrong with you this is unnecessary. All right, okay, hang on, wait. Disgusting. I can't wait, I can't wait until Omar hits this part and he's like, what? <laughs> Can I just what? edit this out? Dude. Nah, fuck no, we gotta keep over No, no, you know what? I remember I was gonna do, uh, spray your guts and fill your guts. You know that? Spare, Eventually. Like eat, uh, yeah, like eat or, and you know what the question is? It's like, it's like a truth or dare, except like the, the you have dare to eat disgusting is crap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like what type of crap? Okay, like, Cow balls. Uh, I had uh, I had a couple scorpions that I bought. So yeah. scorpion eye or Dude, cat I'm, eyes. I'm literally the most honest person. I will not eat a single. Okay. You if, if, this, if this is the question for you, this is perfect for you then, because this would be the question I have. Go ahead. All right. If you had to have sex with two people with the combined ages of twenty, which ages would you take? Dude, with I already ages? I already had twenty and zero. Oh no, bro. actually no, fifteen. All right, fifteen then. 15, fifteen is bro? the combined ages. <laughs> Dude. 15 and zero. I'm still legal, I'm 17. I could have sex with a 15 year old. And then zero meaning she's pregnant. So I'm chilling, personally. I'm not an yeah, adult Yeah, you only know this because I, I gave you that solution. You were like, oh, shit. Sure, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an adult yet, so I'm chilling. Like when it comes to a 15 year old, I'm 17, but I'm like ripe 17. Damn, I've man. only been 17 for like four months. I was so. gonna tell you guys some of the, the words. This is gonna be the fun thing. And then we'll We'll end this episode because like it's getting downhill very quickly. One of our one of our boys uh, that was on here uh, like uh, had that kind of moment where like he he was mad crushed on this one girl, but like she turned out to be like clearly like she was 14 years old and this man's about to reach 18. Bro, yeah. Wait, who is this? That's stretching. It's one of our boys on here, but oh know. oh my gosh. Yeah, so I think I know who this is. Right. Yeah, because it was on an earlier episode. He wasn't on. This one, guys, don't worry about. This. Yeah, don't don't try to detective your ways and yeah, these people's you guys are lives. Stupid. Leave them alone. Right, hey, let me let me find. It. There's like some weird book title. I'll read this out to you guys. Why do you have so many pictures? This is no, Bro, this is gonna, I can. I'm gonna go look through my pictures now and see what I have. In Washington, a motorist with criminal intentions must stop at the city limits to call yeah. the chief of police as he is entering the town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Nick. You know, you're funny. Are you sure about this? Because this is this book title by Chuck Tingle. Living inside my own butt for eight years, starting a business and turning a profit through the common sense reinvestment and strategic targeting marketing. Oh, dude, speaking of My New Academia, Deku and Bakuko return for an all new season. That's crazy. I'm not going to watch that. Pounded in my yeah, dude, the in the butt by my own butt. Want to watch it. Pounded in the butt by my own butt. By Chuck Tingle. Well, what is this? And not to be taught dude. by. Donald Trump, with an O, pounded in the butt by a handsome Russian T-Rex event who also peed on his butt and then blackmailed him with the videos of his butt getting peed on. And then my Nick, personal favorite, Jake. Nick, did, Nick, do you actually find these funny? Yeah, Nick. No, he doesn't find them funny. He finds them erotic. What do you Bill doing? Gordon's. Uh, Billy Gordon's. You've had worse things in your mouth. And you guys can't see it, but she's giving me like a disgust look. All right, and then my personal favorite, who cares about elderly people? It's an actual book, I'm not even kidding. That, that's on Amazon. Who cares? Who cares about that's elderly That's what I'm talking about, man. And I'm not gonna say this one out loud. Hell no, am I saying this one out loud? I'm not gonna. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's literally just, that, that's, like, <laughs> that's, like, that's like not even okay. I don't I don't, like that. Is that even legal, bro? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's, just, that, 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 that's just informative, man. Dude, that's just that's just telling you. Oh my god. Facts. This one's like fucked up. Dude. Oh, wait. What the fuck is the background picture? Uh, what is it like? Right, okay, oh, guys, I, I think like, mass spam my. And then there's this one too. Big, listen, okay, so, for you guys who are wondering what this one is, you guys can't hear it, but like, I don't know if you guys, you guys probably picked up on now, but like, this one is the big book of lesbian horse stories. So let's just point this out. Let's break this down by st section by step. Lesbian horse stories. All right, does this mean like, you're... Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I have a <laughs> 
<laughs> dude. Holy All right, okay, yeah, yeah. But like the big boy, uh, show me that. <laughs> like, have you guys seen the meme of like freaking uh, what's it called, Papa John's, where he was like, <laughs> the day yeah, I read, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that shit, dude. Was, someone did that with clown on his, uh, with clown, uh, like oh, a clown yeah, yeah. shirt, and someone was like, you get what you fucking <laughs> ordered. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, okay. it was so scary in that interview, bro. Yeah, because you're in the podcast, so you don't feel like we're getting on top Okay, yeah, all right. Okay. All right, so uh, thank you, Han. I appreciate you guys all watching. I don't know, know how you last to the end. If you Dude, this, the end wasn't very much organized or an end, but have fun, yeah. everyone. All right, see y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Bye. It should be hey, guys. Last time. I think the last time would be just the yeah, I have to think one, two, there should be three breaks, but I'm not sure. Um, but uh, first and foremost, shout out to Omar for editing this stuff. I'm, I'm kind of lazy and I didn't really didn't really like feel like editing this one. So I just met, let Omar do it. He's probably I'm assuming he's done a really good job. He has a good he had a good channel, Project Plus 22. Uh, so if you guys want to give him a, give him a watch, I've done a podcast on his episode or uh or done an episode of his podcast before and it was pretty fun you know um kind of hard to follow just because it's on zoom and people talk over each other but it's still a good podcast and i would recommend it um i would will say this assuming that this is happening before the last segment uh keep in mind that we always just like mess around in these segments like that these segments just go to crap really really quickly and you really shouldn't be taking these as serious as like the first sections when there's like a ton more people. Yeah, keep that in mind. Um, assuming that this is before, if this is after, then I feel so bad for some of you guys if you powered through that. I don't know what the crap we were thinking with all this stuff. Um, just going back and looking and listening is like, ugh. Not my proudest moment that they, these always end up like this, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. Um, I, I've had worse episodes that I've had to keep locked up. I'm debating if I have to go over 25 because of that. There's actually two, there's actually a lost episode. Fun fact, Matthew wasn't meant to be the first guest. It was made to be Nathan Limo. So for those of you who guys are like, actually listen to this, that's a pretty interesting fact. I think that not many people know. I think that's actually the first time this has ever come out. Uh, eventually I'll get Nathan on, um, Gosh, like you guys can see it. if you guys are listening to this on Spotify or something and it's been edited in, you guys can see this. My hair and my like mustache are like an absolute mess. My gosh, I'm letting myself go. That's beside the point, though. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for listening. You know, I'll just say this uh, once more time to reiterate uh, the support on this has been amazing. Uh, feedback has been nice. I'm sorry that the camera quality isn't the best. I, I like, I still can't get a, justify getting a $700 camera. If I'm just like recording like 25 of these, if I do more than 25, if you guys want me to, then I will. And then eventually I will get a high quality camera. But like to me, the camera quality isn't the isn't important just because of the fact that like it's more the content that's being said than the actual video. Like the video just makes it watchable. But you can always just listen to this on Spotify or something. So it's like kind of the same effect. Like it, it, I get what the concerns, like, believe me, I do. I really wish it was like stupidly high quality to where it feels like you're in 4K, but uh, it's not too big of a concern yet. If it if it starts to get bigger, then yes, I obviously will get a better camera. But uh, for now, yeah, and that, that's all the messages for now. Uh, so if this is the end, uh, thank you all for listening. Um, past me did a good job for the most part, as he always does. Um, still room to improve and that's what i always want to do i always want to bring good content for you guys and help you guys enjoy the stuff so uh if this is the last part you hear me uh thank you guys for listening uh, much love for the support and uh keep god number one